like sounding the people. Let me just switch headphones. <laughs> I keep switching headphones to figure out what it sounds like. <laughs> Wait, I'll waste that. No, I should be hanging up through here. And I'm not. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. Okay. I think I can up the levels. Let's have a listen here. I can't. Oh. Is that? I can sort of hear it in the background. Is that? All right, I see how that works. Okay, so if I up this a little bit, I think I can up the volume on this one. Can I do it? What happens if I up the volume? Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. How's that? A little better? He quiet SMR. I heard a David. Did you? Well, that's good. I think I have to talk directly into the microphone. But it's... Let me see. So there's a little microphone built in. I've got to be quite close to it. But does it sound kind of clippy to you? It sounds a bit clippy to me. Raise that. Hello, all. Oh, my, the poppage. Oh, are you getting serious poppage? Well, that sucks. I am, like, right. I basically got it in my... You think you'd, yeah, you would expect actors to know how to talk and be heard, but not do the technical stuff, right? Sounds a little off. Yeah, loud but crunchy. Yeah. It is kind of crunchy, isn't it? Crunchy is a good word for it. What if I take it down just a little bit? It has a mute. That's nice. I am sort of, yeah, I'm sort of talking. Your pay pee pops the subwoofer. Maybe it needs to be close to the, but not in the live stream. Yeah, I'm trying to use my, this. The, here's the deal. I'm trying to work out my roaming microphone and headset. So I thought I would try to figure that out before we did the PC build. But if it's horrible, I'll go back to... Careful, because I'm going to try this with the other mic in case anyone's turned the volume up. Um, so that this is the this is the mic mic. Are we getting that? The mic is on. Yeah, new toys. Definitely got new to new toys. The mic mic is better. Of course it is. Of course it's much better because. Um, that sucks. I just really want to. I would. I'd love to be able to be roaming. I would, I would love, love to, to be able, able to roam, roam with, with this thing, thing. As, as opposed to having to shout across the room. room. But you're but getting, getting reverb now. now. Okay, okay, hang on. Let me go. Let me go listen to this. Let me go listen, listen to the other thing. Is that better for reverb? <sighs> I think I need like a... I have the Rode mic, Leo. It's great. I love the Rode mic. The only problem is it's not a roaming Rode mic. I am in another dimension, is that true? All right, how does that sound? I'm going to get serious echo in a second. Hang on. All right, let me try this out. This is the fun and games. Okay, what do we got? Let's put that in here. Okay, so now, technically, I might be able to hear this now. It's clicky though, isn't it? It's definitely clicky. I'm broadcasting for Atlantis without an open gate. Very true. Why can't I not hear this? Thank you for your patience while I attempt to do something new and then probably give up. All right. So it's supposed to be going through the headphone port. It's supposed to be listening to it right now. Let's see. Yes. Mic's up. Sound. Output volume. Let's get that up so I can hear what's going on. Oh. Okay, so that's 
That's that mic. Now let's just try. Okay. Let's try the other mic now. Now I'm going to try. Now I'm going to try going through the other one. I've got a few new toys I'm going to show off in a second. Some, Some of, of which, which might, might work. work. Okay. 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 How's that? It's not horrible. No, no, it's horrible. It's pretty bad. There's also a real delay on it. It's so funny. That needs a compressor. Have I tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Yes, I have. Many, many freaking times. All right. So the so the general consensus is screw the um, screw the mic in the headset. Go with the Rode mic. If I up this volume a bit, how does that sound? Getting nice and loud. Okay. It sounded like there was a vacuum cleaner in the background. Really? It is a bit like that. I mean, the... The advantage is, the advantage of this is that it's uh, a mobile headset. That's all. So I can be talking into it and roaming around with the PC at the same time. Hey, I wore the wrong hat. I supposed to have a hat with a with a light on it. What am I? What am I doing? I've got this great hat with a light on. It. I'm gonna go get that now. I'll be back in a sec.
All right. I think we like this mic best is the idea. I might even turn it up a bit. Okay. No, no, you don't have any sound because I'm not talking. I wasn't talking. Well, I am talking now, but I, I wasn't. Uh, okay, so I'm trying a whole new setup because, you know, I like to screw things up as soon, you know, as I do this, I got to go mute this. Oh, what did I press? I faded to black. I faded to black. Don't fade to black. I pressed all the buttons. All right. There we go. All right, I see this. It's a death simulator. <laughs> there you go. Well done. You missed the squirrel. It's okay. You'll see more squirrels. There'll be more squirrels. Trust me. Okay, so you have to keep me keep me on track with the sound. Um, if you have sound issues, just have to let me know because uh, when I don't talk directly into the microphone, it's uh, generally bad. Um, and uh, if I talk into the fabulous new microphone that I've got, it also sucks. Uh, so, hmm, am I doing this as a cabled adventure? I guess is my question. Uh, what is the best way of doing this? Hmm. All right. Uh, well, at least this way I can shout across the hallways as I need to. Won't use this mic, but it's an option. How's that? Oh, okay. Oh no, Lexi K is an early shift. That sucks. Sucks to be Lexi K. Sorry, Lexi. Um, all right, I should tweet this. I should let people know we're doing this. All sorts of adventures ahead. Uh, let me switch over to some other videos. You can see what's going on in my crazy little, my crazy little plans here. Uh, you'll hear lots of that as I switch between. I've got a switcher now for my USB, which allows me to. Uh, thank you, Ugly Pig Beast. Um, so this allows me to share my keyboard between two computers, which I was was driving me crazy. I had keyboards all over the keyboards and mice all over the desk, and I, I couldn't figure out ever what the right one to be listening to was. So uh, let's go to uh, I guess don't switch. Stick with what you got. Oh, you're gonna make me log in on that. All right. Da 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 da. All right. Uh, before I do all of this, I will do this. All right. How is everybody? Hello, David and Bandits. I haven't got the bandit. I haven't brought the bandits in yet, but because I, I I figured it would just be even more chaotic if we have everybody talking to me at the same time. Um, how does this sound for everybody? Hello from New Zealand. Good afternoon to Krillin. Uh, Two thirty p.m. and you just woke up. Way to go, Tweety Row. Oh, the Tweety Bird for the Tweety Row. Um, sounds great. Okay, good, good. Okay, well, that's at least something. So, I've got the sound coming through there. I want to get uh, Discord on there, don't I? So, okay, I better do that. Um, I will scan a QR code to allow me access. There we go. Uh, yes, log me in. Fantastic. And then I should be able, I'm hoping to hear... The bandits, if there's any bandits, you know, here, I, it's a very, it's an odd time for banditry, I'd have to say. All right, so I'm going to just go in here, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to check our sound for this, because we're going to want to go, input device is going to be, what is the input device going to be? That's a good question. Is it, I guess, that one? And the output device is going to be that? It's going to be that. I guess that's the way to go. Okay. This way I should be able, I'm going to check my mic. I'm checking my mic. I'm checking my mic. Yeah, it's picking it up. Stop testing. Automatically determine input sensitivity. Yeah, fine. Do all that stuff. Great. Just take it away, Discord. Sort it out for me. And we'll see. As soon as someone comes on, I'll know whether they're, whether it's working or not. All right. And in the meantime, in the meantime, 
Uh, in the meantime, why don't I put the camera, put our evil camera over here. As I say, I'm trying this out. I'm trying a little different setup here. So I think it might be fun to allow a little better access to what's going on with the uh, PC stuff. Right now, of course, there's nothing happening with PC stuff because I'm too busy playing with my own PC. Just for the record, I'm soon as it's not crazy expensive, I am getting my own stuff for the PC because luckily I got Think Noodle stuff cheaply before it, everything went crazy with people buying PC stuff before Christmas. Um, you know, DSTAT was kind enough to give us the money for this ages ago. And of course, as always, it takes forever to get these things done. All right, I'm going to switch over to here. I have checked out Christian's um, Stargate project. It's freaking beautiful. It's I, like, I'd love to set it up as our squirrel cam. I mean, I think that would just be a, a much better version of the squirrel cam. I was going to just do like a disco gate version. Like the, I call that's what I call the Atlantis gate, the disco gate. Um, all right, let's see what we have in the way of video here for you folks. You fine folks, what do we got? What do we got to do? This. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really sad. I, I've started trying to play guitar. I feel like Jason Momoa. My God, he may be able to play now, but boy, he could not when we were doing Stargate, that's for sure. I had to listen to him and his damn electric guitar all the time. Um, well, now I'm trying it, which is just, you know, embarrassing. So I'm basically, I'm learning how to ruin all of Jane's favorite songs. Take the romance out of them all. Uh, okay, so let's go to here and see what's going on here. Uh, that's going to be on the other screen, isn't it? So let me do that then. <laughs> this is very exciting. Okay. It's just kind of neat. I, I mean, I've got to learn to maybe just leave things alone when they're working. But it, I, there's always a way of making it better, right? Like, why, why stop? You like cold, Tweety Row? Oh, God. I don't like it too hot. I don't like it too cold. I like England. A little soggy. Um, let's have a look at our, at our quick time, see how, that, how that's going to play out here. A new movie recording. Why not? Hmm. Pray tell. Oh, look at that. Magical. Magical that. The only problem is you can't control the camera with this. Hmm. That sucks. Because one of the things you can do with OBS, well, maybe, wait a second, instead of doing that, why don't, I, why don't I do it through OBS then? OBS allows you to control the camera. I just don't know how it looks if I try to put it up on the screen. Um, all right, let's say I do this. Oh, hello, me. Okay, that's me. And I can do this to look at it. It's Razor Coyotes, high, high presets. I like that. Um, oh. It's not letting me change anything anyways. So I still don't have any camera options, it seems. Even though, huh, okay. Don't use the presets. Ah, if I don't use the presets, oh, I can play with things. Oh, so I can go like that. I, can, I don't know, simple FPS values, that sounds fine. 30 sounds fine to me. How does that look? Okay, you guys can't see this, but you will in a moment and you'll be shocked and amazed. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Uh, can we pop this out? Windowed, projector, source. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then we can go over here. Can I move this over here? Yes, I can. And then leave this one over here. Oh, I can do that. I like this. Mm. Please feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so that means I can go to camera two. Camera two. And there I am. I did it. Okay, so here's what I've been playing with. Um, this is the headset I'm trying to get to work. It's this beautiful Razer headset um, that's wireless. I, this, this is, as we've determined, is just crap. <coughs> it's probably fine for yelling at each other and swearing at each other and making, you know, racial slurs and homophobic comments, as the gamers seem to like to do, into, um, into, a, uh, into a game. But uh, it's not so good for actually uh, broadcasting. So, Also, is this a little laggy, this video? Does it seem a little laggy to you? Hard to tell on my screen here, but it's just my computer struggling to keep up. Uh, okay, uh, oh, I can look at the, I'll look at the actual stream. 
So I move around like that. Does it look does it look kind of blurry to you? Yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. I'm channeling my inner Teletubby. It's total Teletubby. No, no, this is genius. Don't you mock my hat, damn you. I will not have my hat mocked. Ta-da! Come on! If you're building a PC or trying to clean up dog poo at night, this is the way to go. I've actually stolen Baz's hat. The orange seemed like a suitably Tech Bandit's color. I have a gray one, but it has headphones built in, right? So it so they have wireless headphones attached to the um, to the hat itself, which is which is kind of kind of great. Um, yeah, but if you're gonna build, if you're gonna build a PC, oh, where'd that screw go? I don't know. Let's have a look. See what I'm saying? It's genius. McKay should have had one of these. Or cleaning a car, exactly. Exactly. You have oh, Game Buster has a few of them already. Bonjour France, Gilles, Gilles. Um, no more midnight toilet puddles. Exactly. Mm, wait a sec, no. <laughs> I'm not agreeing to that. Forget it. I'm not agreeing to that comment. Okay, so I've got everybody up and running here. Um, I warned the tech bandits that I was going to start very early so that I had time to talk to people um, and then they can sort of drop in as they as they see fit. Um, yeah, Tweety Row, it's pretty great, isn't it? You know what I should do is I should see if you could like rebrand it with like tech bandits. Like put a little tech bandits logo on it and then everyone could have like a hat like this. Um... Oh, damn the wobbly, damn these wobbly desks. I think I'm gonna need like robotic arms that are nice solid robotic arms that I can attach that aren't gonna be a problem for, for this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so I've got another camera there that I wanted to play with. Where did I put that one? Can I window two of them at the same time? Oh, oh, that would be good. Wait a second, what if I do this? Oh yeah, this would be cool. Okay, so I do this. See, I'll probably crash the stream, and I apologize if I do, but uh, if I put that in there, I could possibly have two cameras. Let's have a look. Um, as I compile all of my cameras. Here we go. Let's add another. What's the roving fan cam? Is that what it is? Let's have a look at that. What's that? Is that the roving fan cam? What is that one? Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so I've got a second one. Uh, let's go to here. This, okay. How do I do, what if I do, if I go to there, put that up like, th yeah, that's not pretty. Okay, uh, let me do this. Let me window this, and then I should have two of them. Okay, look at this. Hello, little me. It's another little me right here. Hello, little me. Okay. Uh, where am I going to put this? Let's put it like here for the time being. But I can like resize it. Oh, this is great. Okay. That's my roving fan cam. Or roving fan cam cam. So what I thought I would do with this is, oh uh, boy, I need a longer cable. I'll, I'll move things closer. So I, the point being is I want to be able to get to the PC so people can see what's going on, right? That's the idea. Uh, truly the fun part, hey, you get right up my nose, you do. Um, truly the fun part of these things is figuring out how the heck we're gonna film it. That's what I like. All right, so if I move this out here like this, and everyone see what I've been doing to my chair? Let's see if I can see this, you'll probably see it better in this camera. Oh, maybe not, look. So I've added, I've been adding all the bits from the old, the old Stargate uh, control chair for the shuttle. Um, since it's sort of disintegrated with age, I've pulled off some fun bits and have just been sort of wiring and putting them into, uh, into the existing chair that I have, including, including this piece right here, which is the, so there's a little piece that comes up here and it all lights up and stuff. It's just, I got to figure out what I, I think I'm going to need to do is like run a series of cables up here for power. Otherwise I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep disconnecting them and probably electrocute myself, which I know would make for fantastic viral content, but not so good for my, my health. Um, okay. So let's have a look at the chat, see how everything's going over there. Can you sort of still hear me when I'm far from the mic like this? Uh, all right. What is that? Who's talking Henry Cavill? Uh, Henry Cavill's a nerd. That's what I love about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, hey, Zenos, I like that little, uh, like that little mini uh, Yoda thing going there. Um, 
can hear you okay on my end. Good. Okay. So uh, just as I move far enough further from the mic, you'll find that I get things get a little bit a little crunchier. Um, I like the term crunchy. I'm just going to use it all the time now. If I put it like there-ish, maybe that's the way to go. Because um, then you'll be able to hear it from there. I'm going to need to move my robots. There's too many robots, damn you. Here, you go over here. All right. You can go over here. Seems like a good place for you over there. Um, you can go... Uh, oh, you're still connected to all these eyes and things, aren't you? Um, all right, so that could go over here. This is the other fun part. The other fun part of doing the whole PC build is that uh, you have to actually tidy the place. Uh, I had a genius plan. You'll love this. Speaking of genius plans, let's do that. Uh, so my genius plan is you take egg cartons, you glue magnets to the bottom, and then the screws... Oops, go this way. And then the screws, you don't lose the screws, which is kind of neat. Uh, so i got to get some hot glue and... Uh, and find my magnets. Um, so, I don't think I'll do that for today's project. I think the screws are pretty big on this thing. Uh, oh, and by the way, don't leave your crazy glue open. It doesn't, it never works. It never turns out well for you. Okay, so I need garbage. Where's my garbage? Isn't that a garbage somewhere in here? Oh, there's one back here, isn't there? Um, okay. All right. I'm back again. It's really just like spending time in the lab with me today. Um, okay, so the last time I tried to do this, we discovered that maybe I should move that over there. Okay, hang on. If I move this window over to this side, there we go. Then I'm over here. That probably makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, okay, they sell magnets that have sticky backs. Oh, that's even better. But then you don't get to use the hot glue gun, and half the fun for me is the hot glue gun. I think I have a magnets box somewhere. Like a box of magnets. So, there you go. Uh, but I don't know that they're... They're mainly like the little, they're little... They're mainly the little nano... The nano dots, which are so cool to play with. I just love these things. Like, I can play with these things forever. Um, but I actually got some neodymium... Uh, what are they called? Neodymium. I can never get that right. Uh, which would be... Which are just cheaper and smaller... Uh, and I stick them all over the place. So there's probably some of them stuck to the door somewhere. It's usually where they are. Um, you know, I stuck them around all over the place because I don't know where they are now. The problem is if the dog eats them, we're screwed. It's probably generally a good idea to keep them out of the dog reach. Okay. Um, so the last time I did this, Evil Villains, uh, I had I'd kind of forgotten one aspect of this whole build thing, which was the uh, the memory. So... Look who I got her. The little devil. She's got herself some unicorn vomit ram, as they would put it. Um, Noodles is going to try to join us a little later on. They're all at school right now. So I thought if I, by starting at 2 o'clock or 2.45, as the case may be, uh, they get to, um, they, they, they can sort of drop in once where things are beginning to pick up. Once I'm beginning to lose the thread, which has already happened by the sound of it. Uh, so where's that camera? That camera's over there. How far can I get this camera where you could sort of see? If I were to do like something like that, that would be useful, wouldn't it? I do have that robot camera. We could try that one. What's that one connected to? Let's go see what that one's connected to. So I've got a robot camera up here, which is just connected. Uh, where are you? I need to put power in somewhere. Where does the power go? Power without, without homering my belly. Uh, what do we got here? Where does the power go in on this thing? Is, is it up there somewhere? I may need, I may need the stepladder. Uh, where are you plugged into, you little devil? Am I just blind? Oh, is that it? Uh, no, is that it? Does it go in there? It might go in right here. Is that a hole? That is. Okay, great. Okay, so that's plugged in. That's plugged in. Okay, so what I need to do now is pop over to this computer here. And bring in the joys of a little program called Easy Robot. Or Synthium. Synthium, what are they just he's renamed it now. Because it's like this whole robot operating system thing. Um, it's not actually a robot operating system, but it's sort of it's just designed specifically for 
Sorry, it's designed to generally run robots as opposed to specifically run the easy robots. Um, but it's a, but it's a, it's another one of these ones that you have to subscribe to, which drives me a bit crazy because, God, the number of subscriptions I have to get things done now, it's like that's it's gonna it's gonna bankrupt me. Uh, okay, so continue. Yes, I know all about that. Uh, that's fine. I don't need that. I do, however, need to log into a network of my choosing. Let's see what we've got going here. All right, so I gotta find our little robot on here once I turn her on. Okay. Unless I burnt it out last time. Okay, so that's on. Now I'm gonna open up my robot ceiling camera setup. And so what I can do now is uh, rotate the camera. Well, wait a sec, so I could add another camera here. Oh, wait a second, can I do that? Could I do that? Oh my God, that would be awesome. Hang on a second, where's that camera going? Uh, where's this little little cable going? Oh, you don't pull down the Stargate camera, David, no. Uh, that's going to there, to there, to there, and then it's coming through here. Is it already in there? It might already be in there. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, let's see if it works. Uh, let me see if I can get another camera in here then. That would be cool. Because then I sort of basically do the windowing here in OBS, which is so much easier to deal with than everything else. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So let's go to, what if we do, okay. Take this one up. Let's see what they've got in here. It does not want to do that. Hmm, okay. Doesn't like that. Uh, that is not lighting up. So I'm guessing it might be because it doesn't like there being two cameras plugged in the same way here. Let me do this. Uh, okay, so let me take it out of here and put it into here. All right, let's see if this works here. Okay, so that's got another one. It's got a whole port to itself. It really can't complain. Oh, is that it? Oh, great. Okay. And I do the same thing here. I give it its own little window. Oh my God, this is gonna, you're not gonna know where to look. This is gonna be like a choose your own adventure. Look at this. Okay, then we got this. Okay, so the robot cam here, I can now control it. Can I zoom in on that at all? Nice if you could see it better. If you want to see it in action, it's kind of, oh, I'll put it up. Oh, oh, not enough cable. Uh, what if I put an extension cable on this? That would work. But in the meantime, can you see what's going on? You sort of get a sense of what's going on there. There you go. Okay. Maybe I can zoom it a bit. It's possible. Sometimes you can zoom these a little bit. Uh, let me go back to, um, let me go back to that one. Okay, let me see if I can zoom this at all. It might let me do it. Hmm, no. Okay. Uh, maybe I can zoom it myself. So what if I just make it larger so you can sort of see it more? Like if I drag it even bigger. Woo, okay. Nope, that's not it. Is that it? I think that might be as big as it goes. Yeah, it's as big as it goes. Okay, well, anyways, point being is, I now go over to this other computer over here. It makes a little noise telling me that I've done that. And then let's just see which, uh, let me see what goes where. Oh, I can, have I put in, Mar have I actually put in, uh, did I actually put in uh, control? What if I, uh, can I move Danny? What about this? Would that work? Oh no, I have to connect to it first, don't I? Okay, right. So I go to my network, and what this does is it creates its own little Wi-Fi network. So this little guy up here has its own Wi-Fi connector. And uh, the advantage of that is that you just log into it, connect to it, and then you just give it commands over the network, like I'm doing here. Okay, that's connected. So if I if I run this script now, it does nothing. Okay, what about 
No, none of those work. No, let's stop that script. Let's go to just remotely doing it by hand. Whoa, there you go. Okay, so I can rotate it. Are you getting to see it? On the, you sort of see it moving a little bit. It's hard to say that's me. I want to go further up this way. So let's go like this. Okay, we've got cables in the way, of course, because that's how I roll. I love my cables. So I can sort of peruse the building like this. You have 10 seconds to comply. All right, so that's over that way. That's good. Wrist servo. What did I call that one? I like the sound of that. Does that actually do anything? Oh, oh, I can rotate it. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can't remember what servos I added, so it's, it's, it's kind of like a new discovery every time. Whoa! That moved way faster than I expected it to. Man, where'd it go? Okay. Okay, so I definitely want to go more that way. All right, okay, let's do this. All right, so basically, basically I just screwed it up. It's a better position where it was originally. Okay, and then my cam pan, there you go, there you go. I just want to go up a little bit just to get a better shot of the desk. Although if I go a little lower and then wheel this into place, what about that? If I do this, that's probably better for everybody involved, isn't it? Right? Once I get the cables out of the way. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, so what cables do I have hanging in the way here? I've got a whole bunch of these. Here, I'll put a little clip. It's like a hair clip for cables. Uh, if I do this... And then I just clip these like that out of the way. And then just clip it to something that probably should be bending and will probably not be very happy when it finds itself trying to move again. But we're set, right? We're in a good position now. We can sort of see what's going on. For some reason, it's really struggling with the focus. Don't know why that is. And I can't seem to turn off autofocus. That'll drive everyone crazy. It'll drive me crazy. What on earth is it trying to focus so hard? Is it because of this? Is it because of the, sort of the moire on this or something? No, is it this? Oh, look at that. It does not like the white. It doesn't like this material here. Well, that's easily solved. I'll just move it. Okay, let's see if I can do this without knocking everything over. I'm gonna just pull this off. There we go. We'll pop this over somewhere. Maybe down here. Alright. Okay, so I wonder if I should should I be waiting for the kids, do you think, or should I just get to it? Should I just answer some questions? What do you guys think? Oh look at that. That's a good angle. Look at that. You see everything from there. It's like an ad and my hairy hands. Uh if I do this, ooh, let me go. Hello! I've got a light on my hat. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, we got a bit. I don't see anybody in the chat yet. Uh, unless I just, I probably screwed up the sound. Um, no, there you go. So good. So I should be okay for that. I don't need my headphones just yet. Right? Don't need to use those. And when I do, I would change it to, maybe change it to those. We're close enough now that you can actually sort of see what's going on. But how cool is that? I just love the idea of having a robot camera that you can, that it's like having a cameraman. Eventually what I'd like to do is get it to the point where it's doing a lot more complex stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, eventually. <laughs> is a day that never comes. Anything else I need? Um, pliers are always good. Um, I've got my favorite screwdriver and then I went and put it somewhere else. Um, my favorite screwdriver. Where's my favorite? I just got, where's my yellow handled screwdriver go? I just had it. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, I'm so predictably bad at remembering where everything is. Uh, okay. And then I've got a, a little kit. And just for the record, if, if the dog shows up, we're screwed. Basically, we're completely screwed. The dog shows up, this, this, he's gonna knock, she's gonna knock down every single 
every single, you know, I'm going to close the door, because every single thing I have set up here will be knocked down thanks to her tail and her enthusiasm for, you know, saying hi. Okay, so, oh, I should put my chair somewhere else. Okay, hang on, put this over here beside my being. My is zipping here. We've got time for a bit of chatting. All right, let's talk to the chat, see what's going on. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, don't, I don't want to, don't waste my light. Hmm, three different settings. Okay. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you. Right, okay. So what I've done, please, okay, don't don't tell Baz and don't show Baz this this from a cable management standpoint. This is, this is the nightmare that is my desk right now. Yeah, isn't that fun? Uh, so, uh, so this is my stream deck, which I'm using. What's nice about it is it, is when all of my computers crash, which they do all the time, um, they uh, the stream can keep going now. So what I've done is I set up a I found an old I found an old modem in the garbage. People just throw out their old cable modems. So I cleared it and then set it up so that I could use it for um, uh, just just basically to add a few ports down here. So I don't have to keep sharing the four ports that we have on our. Uh, Ethernet ports that we have on our on our modem. So I've set that up. So it's got like a little bridge basically, uh, and then I've given this little baby its own internet connection. So that is just directly in the internet, directly connected, so that if everything goes wrong or when everything goes wrong, probably a better way of putting it, uh, that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, losing the uh, the stream. So we can lose my computers. I can reboot. Everything should continue streaming except for everything that I'm using on the computer. Well, there's that. Yes, we'll lose everything except sound, I think might be the way to go. Uh, but still, it's less of a disaster than if we lose the um, the entire stream. So, but the other thing I got, let me just, it's under here, uh, is I got way too many of these little USB dongly things. Cause I, again, cause I'm using this, this ancient old laptop. And the problem with the ancient old laptop is that the keyboard doesn't work properly. The keys all stick. Um, there aren't enough ports for all the Ethernet, uh, and some of the port, Ethernet ports are, and the and the HDMI port is really, uh, I guess it's come loose or something. So it, the 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 connection is kind of a little wonky, um, and then, but this little baby, this I'm so thrilled about this. This is a little USB switch, and it allows me to go. Oh, here's your wonderful keyboard that you love so much, but I also needed to control my Mac, and I needed to control my PC. So you put the switch on and I can now switch back and forth. Boom. And then I'm using the Mac. Hello, Mac. And then boom, I'm using the PC. There you go. So that's the, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, kind of pleased with that setup. It's nice because you're, I, just the idea of sharing a keyboard just makes so much more sense than having these two wretched keyboards in the way. And then, and then I will totally spend the rest of my life figuring out cable management, but there's something there's something kind of mad scientist fun, I find, about crazy bad cable management, even though it does drive me, drive me nuts at times. Hey, is that Wolf Pup? It is Wolf Pup, but I can't hear Wolf Pup, so I'm going to just switch over here. Uh, Wolf Pup would be coming through. Well, hello, Wolf Pup. Wolf Pup would be coming through camera three, so let's get camera three's online sound. Hello, Wolf Pup. Hi, I can't really hear you at the moment. Oh, I can hear. Ah, I see. Of course, I can't hear Wolf Pup because I don't have the headphones going to. Hmm, interesting. All right, Wolf Pup, hang on. I'm about to solve this problem because that's what I am—a problem solver, or more like a problem maker. Uh, what if I do? If I go over here and I say, "Hey, let me just look at my user settings. Go to the audio video, and let me say." Let my output device go. My input device is the road. Okay, that's fine. My output device is that. That's fine. Then it should be mixing it. Then I should be hearing you. Why am I not hearing you? Oh, I wasn't just, I just wasn't talking. Yeah. Why am I not hearing you? Did we go, did I, did my headphones go to sleep? It's possible my headphones went to sleep. Okay, how do I get? Hey, there you go. My headphones have gone to sleep. I can hear you breathing, so I can, so I know you're there. Oh yeah, I need to put on push to talk. Sorry. No, that's okay. It's fine. The breathing's fine. It's a good. It was a good indicator to me that uh, that I had things at least slightly set up correctly. The question is, can everyone in chat hear you now? So let's just go check that. All right. 
In fact, what I can do is just to be really confusing, I could change. Jefferson joined. Oh, Jefferson's joined us? Yep. Hey, Jefferson, how are you? He just walked away. I think he's getting headphones, so I can't hear what's going on. Oh, no worries. No worries at all. This is the, this is the fate of mothers, is to be excluded by headphones. About one minute left in class, one minute before lunch. Um, what I will do, though, is I'm going to mute you for a second because I can hear in the background. Yeah, I like the way the story is going. Right. I want to find out what interesting things you guys have come up with. Let me just see hey, if I can mute this for a second. I'm going to mute you for one second. Uh, okay. Remind me that Jefferson is muted for the time being just because we can hear what's going on in the background. Um, so, uh, so Jefferson, if you're talking, we, I, I won't hear you for a second. I just want to make sure that... Uh, that we're getting everything. So, uh, chat, 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 chat. Finally caught Rodney McKay live. Well done. Uh, now, there is in fact a disembodied voice. Good, so you've got it. So you can hear. Wolf Pup, can you hear? I'm gonna try un unmuting now, seeing how that works. There you go. Do you Jefferson? hear me? Is that you, Jefferson? No, that's Alan. Oh, Alan, how are you, Alan? Hey, isn't this fun chaos again? Uh, I don't know. I'm just now. I'm just now joining. Uh, that's fine. No, everyone, it's the same thing for most people. Um, so I've just. I want to just unmute. We've got a new bandit here that I'm going to unmute. Oh no, he's muted himself. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, so I haven't started the build yet, but I do have multiple cameras and wireless I'm, headphones. Sort of. I'm working. currently building two PCs in my dining room. You're currently building two in your dining room. Yeah, for work. Oh, for work or for more, uh, not not for more Bitcoin mining or anything? No, 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 work. I checked, get this, I checked my Bitcoin. Remember I told you about that 20 bucks I had? Oh, it's worth more than that. Yeah, I just, I checked it today. Okay, so this is this, this is this Rise wallet thing that my friend gave me just to try stuff. What the hell? Yep. Oh my God. Okay, it was, it was like a, I think it was like, Baz said it was like a $15 or maybe a 20, maybe 20. I think it was 15 dollar gift card. And the idea was that, that he was enticing people into his business. I shouldn't say he, they, I don't know who they are. Um, so uh, they were enticing people to use this Bitcoin wallet that they created. And so they would, you get the equivalent of $20 worth of, of uh, 15, $20 worth of Bitcoin. And that was last summer, okay? That $20 is now worth $120. How crazy is that? Imagine if you'd put twenty dollars in, uh, you know, eight years ago. Yeah. Well, that's the crazy thing is I remember hearing about this stuff ages ago and thinking like, oh, that'd be neat. I should try that out sometime. I should do some Bitcoin mining. Um, but it was like, yeah, and of course I never got around to it. But you did, like you. But did you get into it later or earlier? Later, three years ago. Later, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like the stock market on a very compressed scale. Yeah, it's called gambling, dead pixel. That's. <laughs> That's what that's what the stock market is on a very compressed time scale. Uh, yeah. Luckily, well, that's if you're that's if you're trading Bitcoin. Like oh, that's that's a different that's a different thing. Yeah. I mean, that's look playing the markets in general is a bit like is a bit like gambling. Yeah. Wolf pup, you got any you got any stock tips for us? And don't get me wrong though, if you do Bitcoin mining, you are in a small part kind of playing the market because you have to decide, you know, if you're trying to sell off the the coin that you're making. Right. decide when to do it yeah that's it i mean i always the only things i invest in now and i by the way i this is not investment advice for anybody don't like I, i'm an actor don't <laughs> never take financial advice from an actor just thought to say that right now um i anything i invest in i assume i'm going to keep it for at least five years yeah, that's just probably if smart I, yeah if i don't feel comfortable with something if i feel like oh my god i don't know when i'm going to have to sell it then I, I don't buy it. But if it's five years, I go, okay, yeah, if I can hold on to this five years and not worry about it, then that's that's fine. And again, I lose money, I make money, who knows, you know. Feliz Ano Nuevo, Senior Hewlett. I'm guessing that is a, a like a, a Happy New Year um, in Spanish. I wish I spoke Spanish. God, okay. Hello, 66 Becks. Hello, modified. Uh, did anyone see Sigil Surge? What's that? Coin. Oh, is it another coin? Another coin and another day that Elon Musk is manipulating the markets. Oh, he uh, he mentioned Dogecoin the other day. 
Which, I mean, which, I, Dogecoin is a joke. Dogecoin is literally a joke. It's a doggy yeah, coin, right? Isn't that the whole it, point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally a joke. Like, I think it that, was done as a joke. That's Wolf Pup is a is a Doge is a Doge fan. Uh, Jefferson, are you trying to talk to us? Because you're muted, just so you know. Jefferson's muted, and I'm not hearing the Wolf Pup either for that matter. Oh, um, no, I'm just listening. Oh, very good. Well, welcome, by the way. Jefferson is our Thank newest you. bandit. He's checking us out, seeing if it's worth hanging out. Um, and uh, yeah, by all means, feel free to just like just just hang back or jump in when you want to. Whatever. It's pretty laid back here. Um, in fact, we're supposed to be building a PC and instead we're talking about Bitcoin. So, you know, that's basically how we roll. If you build okay. it faster, you could start mining Bitcoin. Well, I, with, with other, other, other coins. I give, yeah, like Ethereum or something, right? Is, what's the yes, best Ethereum. thing to mine right now, would you say? Thank you, Starbucks. With, with graphics cards, Ethereum. That's hands down. Really? Yeah. But is Ethereum seeing the same kind of jump as Bitcoin now? Uh, it's proportional less but still proportional like it lags behind bitcoin goes up and you wait a few days ethereum goes up oh i see so there's a bit of a lag too that so basically it's just following the bitcoin service they all type. kind of follow it to some extent right okay um yeah i was talking to alan the other day just so everyone knows, I, was, I was talking to alan the other day about uh, i i've for a while now i thought it'd be really fun to have like a a tech bandits bitcoin of some sort like a, a tech bandits cryptocurrency that we could use I just thought it'd be kind of neat, A, from a just learning about cryptocurrencies and also like what if it actually like what if it actually worked? Like what if you could use it to like what if I could use it to pay my son to do his homework or chores or stuff and that actually began to have some value to it. And then anyone who got involved early on could reap the benefits later on. I was thinking it'd be like a fun fundraising approach. But Alan's trying to put me off it because he says it's really complicated. Is it as complicated well, as my cable management, Alan? I, I was uh, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Is it more I was complicated just saying, than you know, this? You, you could, uh, that's not bad. <laughs> my son gets, is like physically ill looking at my cable management. I mean, it's cleaner than my desk. Yeah, but you have an excuse. You're building it on your kitchen table. Well, no, but uh, I was saying your effort might be uh, better spent just like learning how the cryptocurrency stuff works in general. Right. You know, because you would you would have to do that anyway, mm. to some extent, just to understand what you were doing to try to, like, make your own coin. Mm. Right. So you could probably just focus more on the educational part of it and just then you get better understanding of how all that stuff works. Right. Um, the thing I find with the bandit know. stuff, though, is like, is there a way to make it like like, yes, you can learn about Bitcoin, but you need. But if you can see the excitement of Bitcoin, I was actually going to buy some. I was actually going to take some of the tech bandits money. A little bit of tech bandits money and invest it in Bitcoin, and then I would keep a little track of it so that the so that bandits could see where where it's at, you know, yeah, like what it's worth type thing, and then they could tell me when to when to when to pull out and stuff, which could be fun. Um, uh, yes, Starbuck Tech, did you send you sent the pictures the other day of your of your setup? It was pretty complicated. Cable management. I don't recognize these words together exactly. Modafreed. All right. Uh, well, I I guess I I, I think Alan, with your blessing. Uh, Lord Chunky is going to be joining us later. He's got lots of learning to do. Uh, and I think Noodles will join us later too. But I thought I might as well just start because otherwise we're just never going to get this thing built. Um, I'm thinking doing the build on the... Um, I'll do it, uh, the build on the motherboard box. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, build it on the motherboard box. Yeah, that's what I figure. Build on the motherboard box. The question is then, do we then put it into the case and then pull it all apart and give it to Noodles? Or do we build it, make sure it's all working... And then give her all the parts and make her put it in the box. Well, if your if your if your intention was, uh, do you, are you shipping it or how close is noodles? I'm gonna will literally I will put it in a large cart and and wheel it over. Or oh, she, no, you know street. what? Screw that. I'm the old guy. She can come get it. No, oh, okay. She's okay. young. Um, so there are some parts that it's a pain in the butt to pull back apart. Like you wouldn't want to like completely remove the CPU and. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to put take the CPU and the heatsink on. You're, yeah. you're just you're better off just leaving those. Okay, right. Um, yeah, that makes sense. You know, okay, and she can watch. She can review the video if she wants to see how that was done. Right, and that's stuff that you know to pull the heatsink back off. You got to make sure you have more heatsink compound and replace it. And oh, yeah, there's like compound. there's is probably that... there's probably pre-installed heatsink compound. Oh, is there uh, on the equipment that you have there well, right the, now? The AMD I that I have. Oh, let me just move my let me just move my little lazy Susan around here. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 look at yeah. This. this is like this is like this is a man begging for sponsorship right here. Because that CPU came with a heatsink, right? Uh, it can't. Yes, I I thought I'd get. I, I'll tell you why I got it. Purely because because it's called a, a wraith thermal. <laughs> the wraith core. Yeah. I couldn't resist it. Yeah. It's, it's a freaking wraith. It's a it's a it it's true. an AMD with it a wraith on top. So I'm assuming it will come either with with thermal paste. It, or... it probably yeah it probably has it. Um, it's yeah. been a while since I installed one of those cores. Uh, but yeah, they usually just have like it's sort of pre pre preg on the bottom of the heatsink, and right. you just basically just stick it on. You don't have to worry about there's you could go. You could go rounds and rounds with internet debate over what's the proper way to install. A so heat I was going to ask that because I've seen people get like, it's. I mean, it's it, It's yeah, it's a serious it's thing. People big. get really angry. It's like a religious. Debate. <laughs> it's like it's and like. Is this the what's holy so funny city? is that yeah. I, I do it so often for my work. Like I'm constantly pulling CPUs and putting them back on, and it right. literally is just like, yeah, just draw an X, whatever. Here, just stick it on. For like, those of you who don't know, uh, Alan is currently at at, at Intel, um, making their life miseries uh, by by uh, finding all of the good and bad of their their SSDs. Basically, That's, I try to make our I try to, to make, make our SSDs miseries. good. Is that fair enough? I, I make sure our stuff is uh, is good. Yes. Yeah. I do my best. Um, but uh, and it's actually I gotta say I'm very I'm quite pleased with Intel for doing that for seeing the the point of that. As opposed to just going like, okay, we'll throw it out there, see how people respond to it, and then we'll fix the problems as they come up. This way, they can basically get a head start and at least get the initial problems out of the way. Uh, I, I feel like that's what – I wish more companies did that. I guess it's cheaper for them to just put out the stuff, and if it doesn't work, they go, oh, yeah, we'll replace it. But they forget that all around that is like the builds and the kids waiting for GPUs to show up and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, I see that. I see the chat mentioning. Is it QC? No, I couldn't even hold a candle to the amount of people and hardware that's thrown at QC. Really? Uh, yeah, I like, just do performance testing. Right. So, but quality control. What's the deal on that then? What are they? They're doing like they're like totally in the weeds. But you're pretty. I wrote a whole. I wrote a whole article on PC Per years back on like how all that stuff works because I went and toured them mm. at the time, and they have literally just like cabinets and cabinets full of like you know hundreds of ssds in each cabinet mm. and they're cabinets because they're temperature controlled they'll run them like really cold they'll run them really hot mm. right uh they'll throw all these different kinds of uh you know activity at them and just to make sure that they're not failing uh mm. it's, it's it's pretty involved um yeah you need like factory buildings worth of equipment to to do like proper you know qc of uh, of any not just an ssd but you know, pretty much any uh any computer hardware. So you're not so like you're not building Arctic tundras in order to try the 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 SSDs out in in you know minus whatever temperatures and things. I will tell you, there's a uh, kind of a Stargate overlap. We actually uh, there's uh, always a some Stargate parts. overlap. We we hit some parts with an accelerator. Oh yeah, yeah, because they're trying to intentionally hit them with ions to see okay what happens. Does it did it flip a bit? If it did flip a bit. It, somewhere in like an SSD controller or something like what happens, oh, you know, wow. did it fail correctly? Did it recognize that there was an issue and, or did it just give you bad information? Wow. How do you expense that one particle accelerator? <laughs> I don't think they own it. I think they lease it out. <laughs> uh, I would... Yeah, I was, I actually wrote about that in an article for, for PC perspective. Like I did a whole, I forget what the article do we have was a link now. for PC. We should, I should put a link in for PC perspective. Um, and by the time I finish saying it, I'm sure Cal will already have jumped in and done that. But, uh, oh, I got to switch my, I'm sharing my keyboard. I keep forgetting to switch the button. Um, and if anyone's got any, anything they want to add by, by, you know, obviously jump in. Alan and I are just chatting. Uh, so I'm slow today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I found the article. Oh, man, that takes me back. Were you just about to put in a password and then you realized, oh, wait, I have it showing my... Oh no, no, I wasn't actually. You know what I was I was uh I've got did you see that like I gotta show you on this. So I've got this little USB can you see that? Where did they go? I've got this little USB switcher, and the idea is that see a beautiful cable management. So basically I have one keyboard that I use that will control both the Mac, which is behind there, that piece of trash, and this piece of trash. Um so in other words, I could share one keyboard with with um with two computers so i have to but every so i i keep doing it i go to this computer i go like why is the mouse not all right i gotta press the button 
So I got to switch it every time. Uh, Dave, your mouse is in the middle of your screen and it's driving me crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gopher Boy. Am I mouse making OCD. your life difficult? Um, all right. What was the point of this? All right. PC perspectives. Right. Let me go look this up. Let me go grab this. I'm, I'm fine. I, I found the uh, article. I'm just uh, trying to jump on Discord to send you the link. Oh, yeah. Pop it in Discord. Then I can... I can uh... Well, I can call it's just it. like it's just like cabinets and cabinets full of like just chock full of SSD after SSD. Um, it's like seeing Crazy. the the Prusa the Prusa um, center where yeah. they've got the it's Prusa similar. printers printing the Prusa printers. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, well, they well they they don't just have a bunch of rows of printers printing their printers, but then they have rows of them to do testing like QC. Yeah. Right, it's the same principle, just a different thing that they're testing. I uh, yeah. Um, it, there's something about it. I guess it's a nerd thing. It just multiple like one robot's fun a hundred robots is better you know what i mean like it just there's something about the just the, the 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 you know the the quantity over quality in many cases um i'll tell you that prusa is freaking wonderful though i gotta say i i love i really you know, just, i really want to i really want to get one myself i've been putting it off i mean i like, I, I love i have prusa. a i have a any cubic photon what's that that is a that is a resin printer Oh, nice. Well, then maybe you're like, I mean, the re I mean, the resin is, it's always the grass. It's what is my Jane called the grass or greeneritis where it's, I, I basically, now that I've got the, the, what is it? A fused D, FD something M. Um, DM. Now I want the resin one as well, but. Um, I will say this. It's, it stinks to high heaven. Yeah. See, that was it. I don't want, I like, yeah. I'm, I, I'm sort of slightly susceptible to that because I'm a hypochondriac and a wimp. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely noticed that stuff. Um, all right. Did you get the here's link? The, oh, here's the link. Right. I put it in the right. tech bandits. I got chat. it. I'm, I got it now. Here we go. I'm faster than Cal. Uh, here we go. Faster than a speeding cow. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the. Screen. I knew what I was Googling for. Cause I wrote the article. All right. Oh, that's true. All right. All right. Put this in there. there Six you go. years ago. Uh, okay. So that is, uh, that's what Alan's talking about. Uh, Jotun Mike. New Year's going well, thank you. I mean, you know, 2021, it's starting off with a bang, isn't it? I mean, we knew it was going to be bad. It's just we got a we got a bit more of 2020 to sort of. I don't think we'd even blame 2020 for it anymore. I think we're we're in we're definitely in the 2021s now, um, and I think we're going to have we got some stuff to deal with. So people still got to be safe and smart and you know, selfless. Uh, all right, let's um, let's crack this baby open. See what's going on. Um, okay, yeah, open some so, boxes. What was that? Open some boxes. Open some boxes. I know, I know. Okay, and you're saying don't worry about killing it. What if I stand here? Is that better? Uh, this is a good place. I now. mean, sort of between two. use common sense. Don't go dragging your feet across the carpet while you're... Uh... You mean like I'm doing right now? I, I mean... Um, it, yeah, it won't be. You'll be fine. I've also fine. got a metal case. This is metal. But yeah, it won't be but that's a metal table. Just make sure everything's sitting on the metal table. Although the box is going to be insulating it from the metal table, but you know, just make sure you're like have your hand on like the edge of the motherboard occasionally. Make sure you're not building up a bunch of static charge what on I yourself. Do also, is I can also um, I can like uh, I can like uh, you know when you grab the CPU, you only hold it from the edges. You know, don't grab yeah. it by the pins or anything crazy. All right, you'll have to remind me of all these things as I go along. Okay, so uh, okay. Uh, first up, we've got our this is our motherboard. It's kind of a nice looking beast. I mean. You know, I don't know much. Kind of a sexy looking beast, I'd say. All right, let's get, can we all see this from above? You got a nice shot from above there? Oh, sort of. It's very far away though, isn't it? Do you want me to set up another camera that looks down better? How are you people finding it? Will you be able to see stuff? Um, yes, don't stroke the dog and then touch the components. You're right. I've actually closed the door to stop the dog from getting anywhere near me. Um, it doesn't matter if it's metal. You can't kill new stuff with static. Oh, oh, oh I can try, Jotun. I can try. All right. So here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. It is possible. You'd have to just like hit just the wrong pin with just the right amount of charge. Is that why they have all these capacitors on them? Is it just purely to protect the equipment? No, a capacitor is just to keep voltage stable. But, but I thought but I added a capacitor to um to my NeoPixels the other day, and the idea was to stop it from a, getting a sudden surge of electricity. 
Yeah, that's that's called keeping voltage stable. Huh. <laughs> I see. Okay. Capa capacitors oppose a change in voltage. Right. But isn't that but then that would be useful for a static charge then? Uh it would be, but that's not what they're there for. Okay. All right. There are plenty so there are plenty of signal lines running around on that board that are meant to carry data, and those signal lines go out of the way to not have any capacitance on them because you want the signal to, you know, be go as across fast as fast as possible. As possible right. right? Yeah. So if you zap one of those, you could potentially you know, fry whatever the chip was that's supposed to pay attention to that signal. Anything I need to worry about doing this? I'm just gonna. The old days. No, I you're just you're just taking it out. Yeah, you're done. You're you're good. Here we go. Oh god, they're still. I gotta say, I still find them so pretty. You know what I mean? Like I just, I just, especially when they're new and shiny. Yeah, yeah, they're just gorgeous until the dog hair starts settling on them, and the human <laughs> dandruff. It's you know, uh, it's just. I mean, they're just like. They're like cities of the future. Okay, so I'm taking this. I've got some little screws here. I wonder what they're for. One little screw. That'll be useful. Okay. Let's see what else I've got. Anything else I need from in here? I'm looking in the box. Oh, there we go. Yes, can't forget our USB covers. Um, I'm guessing those are probably for the hard drives. Is that right? The, are those the SATA cables? What are they called? What are, you, what are you talking about? Um, I'm assuming these are just... Oops. Are those the hard SATA drives? cables? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, they look like SATA cables. You're not going to be using those. What? Oh, right, because I've got the... I've, oh, what? Yeah, it's right. It's the M1. It's all on the board, isn't it? Yep. Oh, there is going to be a little... Sure. There is going to be a little baggie in there that has a very small screw and a very small nut. Really? I see the small Probably. screw. Probably. I wasn't looking for the nut. Let's see. I see a small screw. I don't see a nut. But you know what? I've got an entire... Uh, the nut might already be on the motherboard. i got a giant box of random screws. So I... No, that's... Have... Trust me, you will not have the right screw. Oh, really? It's one of those? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't matter how many screws you've got. You never have the right one, to be fair. Especially in this case. Okay. Trust me. All right. So I'm doing you this. You could have a bag full of computer screws. You probably don't have an M.2 uh, FSD really? screw. Really? It's that? I'm thinking it's that? It's, it's really that. tiny. Okay, so that is going on the box. Okay. Uh, you know, we didn't check to make sure I had everything again this time, but I think we, we, I think we decided it was just memory that I was needing, right? Yeah, I think the memory was the only thing you were short. Oh, look, SATA cables. Don't need them. Okay, got it. Yeah, don't need them. There we go. I'll go pick them up later. Oh, boy. Carefully label them. I, I mean... <laughs> What's that? I mean, the, the soon-to-be owner of the system might want to attach a SATA drive. You don't tell her she doesn't know. You know, for extra no, yes. not from you, okay. but later on. Fine. Like I'll pick it back up again. Here we go. They, they might want to install okay. a bigger like yes. a big hard drive. At some to point you might want to put a hard drive. Hold on. their hundreds of games. All right. Look, if this is this gonna be one of those responsible builds. Um, okay. uh, I mean All right. so that's what I'm here for, David. I'm put stuff in a place that I'm not gonna forget it and lose it. Uh, I'm that little I'm that little uh, white white uh, you know, white devil on your shoulder as opposed to the red devil that's on the other shoulder that that's wants right. to just that destroy everything. everything let it burn yes. okay so for those of us who can see we'll see so we've got so this used to be the bane of my existence this this part here where like where you used to be so it used to be so fiddly trying to get the cpus into place but i hear it's much better now uh, and it certainly was on baz's yeah, you just got to make sure you you uh, rotate it correctly, but yeah. Where does the SSD, where does the little SSD go? What? I'm just wondering where the S, where does it, where does the little SD thing fit? Is it going in here somewhere? The SSD? The SSD, yeah. Is you it see that row of circles right around where your pinky is? Well, then right here. No, no, well, uh, to your left. To my left. Right next to the battery. Okay. Oh, that's where it goes? There, yeah, there's a slot. Uh, granted, I'm looking at it over there. Twitch video. See if that's You're easy. pointing like an inch away from it, but yes. It? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the connector for it. And then uh, if you go uh, three metal... Oh, so metal... this heat sink is, for the, is probably for that then? Is that... No, that's where the chip's at. No, is it? Well, it's a different part of the motherboard. Cool our... so, so you don't have to cool the So that port, 
is where the uh, SSD is going to connect to. And then there is, uh, there should be three or four circles, like moving away from it. One of them is going to have a nut screwed into it. Probably the third one. Oh, there you go. Right there. You found it? Yep. Okay. So the nut's already there. Does it have a screw in it? It has like a, it is a screw. The nut is a screw. It, no, no. The screw's there. I've got the screw. Yeah, the screw, screw is screwed into the nut. Okay. Then you're good. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, you know, I can't think of, I don't think I've ever had to change a lithium battery on a motherboard. Have you? Uh, normally you would never have to because if, if whenever the system is plugged in, it's not actually using the battery yeah. for anything. It's, I don't, I can't, I can't think of a time other than, no, you know what? There was once an ADO something that I used that had, that I had, you had to replace the battery on, but I think it was just because it was like, it was draining somewhere. Yeah. Um, if you leave, if you leave a computer like un, completely unplugged for like a couple of years, or 10. It, it'll kill the battery. Right. Um, okay. So. Next step, what do we think? Go for the go for the CPU first. That's what I would do. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Complete with Wraith. What do we What do we end up going with? We went with the. Which one, which one was it? Which one did we end up R5 with? something. It's the five thirty six hundred six core twelve thread. Oh my God! Think noodles. You are gonna freaking love this. Okay. Um, I, the thing, the irony of this that I, I find that I find so amusing is that we'll build this. I'll, I'm hoping that I'll make the mistakes for her, so that when she comes to build it, she can build it much faster and much more efficiently than I have. Um, sure, it's already going to have the CPU on. So once we got the CPU, you know. I don't think we're going to want to take that off again. Oh, okay. Let me do that. Where's my Where's my action knife? Okay, here we go. Uh, I keep having to think. I keep having to remind myself that I'm actually on wireless headphones now, because I keep panicking that I'm about to pull things off the desk. This is the most disgusting knife. It has more hot glue on it than the knife. At the is that like the only wireless thing in your office based on the other cables you have? Oh, my God. I, well, first off, I hate wireless because it never freaking works. Um, I, it's just never reliable enough. I, or I don't trust it enough. How's that? I don't know. That headset sounds pretty good for a wireless headset. Well, this sounds fine. The problem is the mic that's attached to it that came with it that I bought it for was is pretty lousy. Oh, you're just using the room mic. Oh, I'm just using oh. the room mic. Yeah. There we go. I got you. Um, okay, that's a much better knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <gasps> Ooh, there it is. There's our baby. Look at that. Again, this is something else that whenever I take apart old computers and for tech bandits or whatever, I tend to, uh, even if they're really old, I'll keep the CPU just because I think they're, I just think they're gorgeous. I mean, just a, as a sheer beauty of manufacturing, I just think they're absolutely stunning. Okay, so here we go. It has a Ryzen 5 sticker, installation instructions. Do we care? Am I, am I going to go? I'm a, usually I like my instructions, but I, I don't have to. If you've got, if you can I mean, you can. Through. There's probably not much to them. Oh, really? Oh, that's unfolding a lot. Um, oh, it's probably talking about the cooler and stuff. Yes, it probably is. Okay, yeah. it's got some very, okay, so aligning pins. Yes, that's the part you want to pay attention to. Right. Yeah, you kind of don't want to get that wrong, do we? Uh, okay, align pin zero indicators. That is the worst instructions I have. Okay, here you go. But the corners is going to be unique. Yeah, it's basically one of them's got a dot on it, but you'd think that they would show you the dot then. But no, well, why would they do that? It'll, it'll make more sense when you're holding the CPU in your hand and, uh, and yes. looking at the slot. Okay, I'm looking at it right or now. Or looking at the socket. Anyway, there's a handle on the side of that socket you got to pull up. Oh, yeah, it's got the little flicky thing, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, to one, two, prior to installation, ensure pin zero indicators, the small arrows on the socket and processor are correctly aligned. The small arrows. Ah. What the hell was that? Not me. That is the weirdest noise. What was that? Almost sounded like a submarine ping. It did. It did. I was gonna say, like, I thought maybe you were like, like you're doing like some kind of callback to the old. Um, nope. Computer day. Sorry. Oh, is that you, Jefferson? Yeah, that was a notification on, on uh, my annoying computer. <laughs> the notifications always get me. All right, I see a little tiny. Wait a sec. You know what? I'll see it better if I turn on my. 
Headlamp. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look, lucky I had that, right? Except my head goes the wrong way for... Okay. How, how do you look through a pair of glasses and shine the light out at the same time? There you go. Okay, here we go. Do that. Okay, I see... I think there's a little arrow there. But it's hard to say. But there's also a dot, so I'm assuming that's it. But is there a... What's on this? You'll also one? notice that the... the the holes for the pins mm. in that socket do something unique in the in the in the corners. Yes, we have a square corner where there are no other square corners. Right. Got it. That's what you want to line up. That's it. Got it. I see it. It's going on like that by the looks of it. Okay. So uh, aligning the pins, aligning the pins. What am I doing? Phillips screwdriver required for installation. Really? Okay. What a heatsink. Uh, I guess uh, you're not there yet. Oh, they want me to put these on, but they're already there. So I think we're fine for that. Um, you can, uh, I mean, even if you got to put different ones on for the cooler, you can switch them afterwards okay. after the CPU's on. Oh, you're saying they might That's be all right. Okay. Oh, right. Of course, it might be different ones for the cooler. Shall I open the rest of it? Let's have a look through the gun there. Okay. Yeah, let's do the unboxing, Alan. That's half the fun, isn't it? Here we go. We're unleashing the wraith. Prepare yourselves. Great. It's a, it's a magic box. It's like that escape room movie. I can't, you gotta figure out how to get in. And then, oh, there you go. Here we go. Now, I got this purely because it said Wraith on it. There are probably better coolers out there. Ooh, look at that. No, that's Ooh. a decent cooler. As look far as coolers that come with CPUs go, that's a decent one. Look at that. It's like, it's a total Iron Man thing. Um, look at that. Uh, hey, is I, there, is wait a minute. Is that paste on it? I think that's is that stuff. pure copper with no paste? I can't see from the camera. It's hard to see, isn't it? Um, let me see if I give you another view at it. Are there little dots? Let's look at this. The Very hat cool thing is cool, in my opinion. The oh, little good. Good. It's not thing on the top. Do you make any sense of that, Alan? It looks like, a, it looks it looks like, like a... it's got paste, a layer of paste on it. Yeah, it's like silk screened. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you could like... Certain. You could like... Uh, at the very corner, you could, like, just kind of rub your finger on it and see if it's, you know, paste. You're not going to, like, totally mess it up or anything. I don't want to touch it. Ter I don't want to... Oh, I'll see what I'll do. I'll use a little bit of the knife. Yeah, sure. I mean, you could just use your finger. Just make sure you've got a paper towel to wipe it off. Is it paste? Whatever. Oh, yeah. That's paste. Absolutely. It's like okay. cement. Yeah. I put my mark on the cement. I should, like, scratch my name in it. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely paste. But look at that. I mean... You know, talk about debate about how to apply paste. Well, that's a machine applied, oh. you know, silkscreen kind of. Yeah, and just with one little yeah, fingerprint like in the corner. Yeah. There you go. Think noodles will not be happy knowing that there's a that there's you know. It's a notch out of my paste. Yeah, exactly. That's it. A little bit of human grease, um, which is actually you are trying to avoid, aren't you? Okay, so that's so that's the cooler. It looks to me is that going to fit? Is there, is there more to it? Is that, is that it? That seems to be it. If there's no brackets or anything in the box, it should just latch on to what's already on the motherboard there. It should, and it, oh, boxes. Save the boxes. That socket, that socket type is pretty standard okay. about that. Yeah. All right. So the next thing I do is, oh, am I supposed to already put the thing on? Yes, yes. I'm to get it for you because I'm okay, sorry. Okay, so I do this and then pop that on top. Oh, okay, all right, cool. You did lift the latch for the CPU, right? Uh, I um, yes. Yeah, that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I totally did, Alan. <laughs> okay, Why wouldn't good. I do that? That would be, what kind of an idiot wouldn't? I, uh, just, just making sure. Yeah. It doesn't go in very easily unless you lift the latch. Can you imagine? I didn't just break one, one pin. I broke all the pins. All the pins. Okay. All right. I'm opening this up. I got to admit that this is the part that makes me nervous the most. Ah, just hold it from the edges. You'll be fine. Holding it from the edges. It's even got little finger points where you to grab it. God, this is so much easier than it used to be. Okay. So the arrow is pointing over there. So why would I not put that okay, arrow there? Okay, so as you, uh, just so people can see what's going on, so there's a little tiny. Like you can see the difference. If it's lined up right, it'll just it'll basically just fall in. Yeah. So that's the little arrow, and then for those of us working on the actual motherboard itself, you could see there's also one right over here that's been marked specifically. So I'm gonna just 
As we say, mm-hmm. I'm going to try dropping it in place. Yeah, Why is it pointing that way, though? Isn't that weird? Okay. Oh, it just fell beautifully into place. Yep. Beautifully. Okay. I love having the roving camera. It's so great. Okay, so it's fallen into place. Now what do I do? I'm going to put that back down. light pressure on it so it doesn't lift up as you're uh, latching it in. Putting a little bit of pressure on it as I latch it down. <gasps> yeah, just kind of like put your finger on it. Just God, stop it that. from floating up. I don't like that there pressure you go. thing. Done. So easy. Now I turn it on. Okay. Uh, no. Not quite. All right. I mean, it would not. Well, no, it wouldn't work because you're missing several other components. Go. If I go this way, no, go this way a bit. I mean, it might work without the heatsink for a while. Well, they they run fairly cool, don't they? Isn't that the? They don't run that cool. But they, but <laughs> they, they run, don't they run cooler than the Intels, though. Uh, it depends on which ones you're comparing. Like. I thought the well, you know what? It's also probably just the older generations ran hotter too, didn't they? Uh, okay, does it? It doesn't matter which way this goes on as long as it sits yeah. properly on the mm-hmm. thing, right? Uh, there are should be some sort of latches on the edges of it that are going to engage with the ones on the board there. So I do have to remove those screws. Okay, all right. So so people can see what's going on. Uh, so what we've got here. There should be directions uh, for for that there, David. What was that? There should be directions for that in that, yeah, in that direction. Very small, very small writing. Um, yeah, there's these two things here. That's why they say I need a Phillips screwdriver, which I have right here. Uh, yes, they actually said I have to remove this, and that's what I'm doing. Let oh, okay. Go. So th- now I see what you got going there. Yeah, the, the Wraith Core basically has its own bracket, like, built in. Man, that is and you're cool. removing the pre-installed uh, heatsink bracket. I see. Because okay. that, that Wraith, uh, you know. The wraith doesn't need anything else getting in its way. Yes, it wants to latch directly to its victim. Yes, it needs to latch directly and, and the suck it, the life from the, the from the motherboard. Friend. Yes. Oh, what was that? Somebody. Hey, is that a James Gurney? I see a James Gurney, but he's muted. James is like the nuclear sub guy comparison in biotech or by in in in, um, in viruses Al. wait Is hey it on? did he bail again? when i when i jumped out the other day were you asking something about like guns on the sub guns on the sub oh i know that's right i was saying i was saying that what do you do if there's someone on a sub so you're 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 on a sub. You're saying your the missions can last quite a while. What if someone just loses it? Like, what if the guy? What if people can't take it, or are they just not? They wouldn't have got that far in the navy if they couldn't. You're talking about people shooting themselves in the foot to get out of things. And I was saying that surely the sub would be like the worst. If you, you know, if you suddenly found yourself questioning your life choices, this so, would be a bad place for that. Ooh, lost a screw. We actually run uh, practice drills for that exact scenario where some guy just, you know. They're skipping film class to do this because you don't think film class is important. Usually, usually they make up some scenario like, you know, somebody just really wants a cheeseburger from McDonald's or something. And so they, you know, hold one of the officers hostage really? oh, somewhere that's on good. the sub or something. Give me a but, cheeseburger. Uh, Give me a Big Mac. Right yeah, basically. Now. They'll do they'll do something like that. You know, it's usually, usually half the crew is kind of laughing. Right. Because, you know, they'll jump on the announcing circuit, like, submarine-wide because they're being hostile and everything. And they'll, I want a cheeseburger right now, you know. Anyway. Do they do they pick the best actors for these things? Is that generally how it works? Uh, usually, yeah. They, they, they'll they pick one of the engineering guys, and it's usually really comical because, you know, we tend to have a crazy sense of humor you types. You kind of have to. Kind anyway. Of, you're living with uh, stuff all the time. So we'll... You know, we'll, we'll pretend that they had a, an actual weapon and we're trying to do stuff, but then the people will actually go to the weapons lockers and go and get the guns and huh. secure the area and do all the stuff they have to do because it's, you know, there there are guns. They need to know what just to not do like, so that it's an automatic response when something really happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all, like, behind lock and key or, you know, the only people that normally have them, have them are, like, the, the watchstanders. I mean, literally, just like what you saw on Stargate, right? You saw some armed guard kind of person, like yeah. they had a, they had a sidearm, like same kind of thing, right? The guy, well, like know, those guys in charge of the, other day. Did you the, see the guy in charge of security and the missile compartment that's supposed to make sure that the missile tubes are secure and nobody's tampering with them, right? right? Like he's got he's got a gun. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, 
Um, yeah. It's like, did you see those guys at the um, uh, at the Senate the other day? Where they're all, all yeah. of a sudden, all the guns are out. They got the place barricaded. I was, I was like, wow, those are some seriously brave dudes. They're going to stand in front of. They don't even know how big the mob is. They don't know what's going on. Right? Crazy. Um, okay, I'm putting this on. Cable management, because you know I'm. It's always my first priority, Alan. You want to look for the CPU fan uh, right pin header. It's right there. So I'm wondering, should I be as close to it as possible, or do you want a bit of distance so the cable? However you want to, however you want to rotate that so that the you know, I usually do it so that the cable is kind of like somewhat wrapping around the, the heatsink a little or the so you got a heatsink so a little bit so you don't just have a big loop just nice. kind of hanging out there, Done. right? I love it. Oh yeah. Oh, except that. If it doesn't reach, then you got to go the other way. I don't know that choice. Okay, I see. So it's because of where the things are, I think I'm going to be this way or this way. Mm, maybe this way if I go like that. Then it goes like that. But then it's looping in front of everything. I don't know. I feel like maybe I like... And I just like to double check, way. it does just say CPU fan on that header, right? Because there are multiple CPU it, yes, it uh, CPU cooling fan. headers on... Specifically okay. CPU fan. This is, yep. this is a lesson I learned from before was I didn't wear my glasses for a lot of the build and oh, yeah. because I hadn't got them yet. Um, of the original build, like a, a, the build we did for, for Baz. And there were a number of them that I was like, huh, look at that. It has three pins and I'm looking for four. So definitely. Yeah. Wear your glasses is my point. Okay. I'm lowering yeah, this yeah. down into place. Who am I? Let me just double check. Make sure there's anything I have to do. Okay. So I'm doing this align the zero one indicators. Prior to ensure that the pin zero, the small arrows on the socket cluster are correctly aligned. They are. Um, then I'm going to put this baby down and then just screw it in. Okay, great. That's it. That was that was all those pictures were told me. All right. I don't want to mess up the paste. There's one, two. Oh, look at God. It's so much easier now, Alan. That it's not deep inside the case? Yeah. yeah I remember how freaking hard it was just in general. Well, just in general. I mean... This used to be, this used to be terrifying. All right, come on, he's screwing in. There we go. And I don't know whether this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I like to do a little bit on each one as opposed to doing them all. Yes. Do the, do the, well, you can go around. I usually like diagonal at first. Yeah, that's what I do. I like that diagonal yep. thing. Uh, all right, why is that not, why is that jumping around? Okay. Jumping around. Always what you want to hear when someone's trying to build a CPU. I mean, install a CPU. What the hell? Okay, if I put that down too far again already? Well, you don't want to crank down on two on the same side before you go diagonal. Yeah, no, no, this is, I'm going, so I've done one there and then I'm trying to do yeah, one. Yeah. I guess I've. Yeah, even that's you should fine. be good. Even that's giving me pressure. Well, they're spring-loaded screws, so you might have to like put downward force just to get them to even thread in. Yeah, they're making they're making a horrible grunching noise, which I hate. That's just the spring. I know, I know it's the I know that, but it just sounds horrible. All right, and the question is, how tight? Is this like a hand-tight thing, or is this a? What do you think? Uh, they should just stop. Oh, really? Like they should noticeably stop turning. And you don't need to tighten any further past then. Okay, yeah, that sort of stopped. Okay. Yeah. I like God, they really do make it actor proof, don't they? No wonder Henry yeah, that's what the, can do this. So that's what the springs are for. Like you tighten it till the screw hits the stop, but the spring is what's keeping the heatsink uh, force on the CPU at a reasonable amount. Waiting, waiting. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, there you go. Okay. Great. Does that look even? Let's have a look. That looks pretty great. Looks pretty good. Pretty even. Yeah, looks good here. Yeah, okay, great. And then I am plugging this little baby into the CPU fan. Again, it's actor proof because that you just don't have a ch you don't have much of a choice. You can only put it in this way. I don't know, there's plenty of other fan headers on that motherboard you could plug that into. That you'd be allowed to? That they would go. But do they say CPU fan? I don't like forcing it. Well, they don't. <laughs> so, which is why you should definitely plug it into that one. Indeed. All right. Okay, let's have a look. So, can it's... All right, don't like. There we go. Like I always say with the PC stuff, if you got to force it, you're doing it wrong. Okay. So, what's next? We've done. 
that. Ram. Oh, God, this is so exciting. I almost don't want to take it apart again. But the whole point of this is that Think Noodles has got to learn how to build PCs. Otherwise, my mission has failed. Okay. And by the way, DSTAT, thank you very much for these parts. DSTAT actually paid for all of these parts so that Noodles could have a, a PC to do her gaming with. Um, all right. Memory M1, maybe M1 now? Get the tricky stuff out of the way? Yeah, you need the memory. All right. right? Or the M.2. That's is right. that what you mean by M1? Now that we know that there's a little a little screw that could be lost. There we go. M.2. Well, when I was data. saying memory, I was saying RAM, but you can do either one you want first. See, doesn't matter. This is the problem with these old guys like me. Is I want to say I want to say memory all the time. I mean, that's your storage. Yes, true. Is that an SSD because I have a WD blue in yeah. mine, I think. Yeah. That's it. How big is it? What did I go with? 1 terabyte. Yeah, I thought I think What was that? Mine is the 500 gigabyte 3D NAND Safa SSD. I think it's Oh, oh sad. Yeah, serial ATA. Yep. Because I'm not SATA, not Safa. Sorry. <laughs> um, how would you say it? Serial ATA serial or ATA, SATA? But SATA. SATA. Okay, all right. Serial yep. ATA. RIP to this board as well if he's not wearing anti static ankle strap too. LOL. Oh, Gwen. Gwen XYZ. Let's see. We'll see. Uh, okay, what do we got? You know, I've completely forgotten to twi tweet that I was doing this. Uh, listen, David's wearing an ankle bracelet, but it's for other reasons. Yeah, that's just, I'm just, I'm just not allowed to leave the room. Uh, right. Okay, so there you go. There's our little, they're so tiny. Yeah, they're small. Just ridiculously small. Okay. Um, it doesn't have an enclosure or anything? There's no. No. Really? It doesn't need, I guess it doesn't need it. Okay. Doesn't need it. So, I guess I can look at the instructions on this too. Let's see what it says. Here, I'm going to make your life a little easier before you pull it out of the, the wrapper. Okay, what do you got? Uh, you want to take a small Phillips screwdriver and you want to unscrew that screw from that uh, nut on the motherboard oh, that you pointed to earlier. Yeah, sorry. There's a screw there. The screw is the nut, if that makes sense. It's the Trust me, the screw is screwed into the nut. It is? Yes. There's, well, because I have a separate little screw over here. Watch this. Uh, that's that's probably a spare. Oh, you think so? Where's my little screw go? All right, let me see. Here. It's probably the same screw as what's already there. Well, I don't see a screw. I mean, look, I'll show you. I'll show you the thing. No, no, that's gonna go in there. No, that's it. I think we got the screw. I think I think there's. I think I threw. Oh, you are off. you saying that the nut, are you saying that the nut has a Phillips head in it? it exactly. Okay, because some of them do. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like a screw that's been screwed in that then has a screw that then screws into that. But there is but there is a threaded hole in the middle of there the top of that. There is a threaded hole in the middle, yes. Okay, then that is your screw. Okay, that. good. Yes. All right. I thought that was it, but, you know, I've been wrong before. Not on Star No, Wars. no, it's good. It's good. All right, what do we got now? We've got, uh, so I'm pulling this out. And same thing, don't touch the, I'm assuming just don't touch the copper, right? Because that's where the, that's where you're. Just hold it by the edges, just like the CPU. I can't, I don't know. The only finger place has a big copper thing. No, no, that's the the narrow edge or the hold it by the long edges. Like that. Look at that. Beast. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm guessing I want to put it in this way. Oh, uh, most likely. Where are you going in? Okay, I'll give you a little. Uh, it does not sit flat as you're sliding it into that port. It's meant to go in on an angle. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to go in like this kind of a thing, like a like a down angle. Is it right yeah. at the top? It's going. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, and it'll if you're at the right angle, it'll just slide in easily. Okay. Not yet. Okay, I'm finding that right angle. Don't don't go any higher. Okay. You don't want to snap the thing off. Yeah, that round that angle. Okay. And then you'll notice that it's gonna fit. Like when it goes in that uh, nut, as you push down on it, it's not below. you'll know whether or not it's far enough in. Okay. Because. So you say get it in as far as you can like this. Oh, oh, you see that? Yeah. That went in beautifully. Oh, can I push it down now? There we go. Oh, I'm aligning beautifully over here as well. Yep. So there nice. you go. Just hold, just hold it down with the finger and put the okay. screw in. I recommend using a magnetic screwdriver if you have one. I think this is magnetic. If not, it, it has been made magnetic by me dropping it so many times. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so little tiny screw. 
Don't let it get away from you. I, trust me. This, I mean... Okay. They have a habit of finding uh, the place where you can't get it out. Yeah, it's from. like kids are able to find, like, the one electrical socket in an entirely padded room. All right. Okay. Not that I raised my son in a padded room, just to be very clear. Um, okay. Here we go. So I'm just going to, just again, so everyone's able to see this in beautifully documented, slightly HD resolution. This is me screwing in the little M1. Isn't this exciting? Um, Alan, this has got to be so dull for you. You do this all the time. That's okay. Is it I'm just the danger I'm, of I'm, I'm doing the, up? I'm doing the same thing here as I'm talking to you oh, about oh. doing it. It's pretty funny. I'm guessing I don't need to really crank down on it because the connection is over there anyways, right? All right. Uh, yeah, it's just, just snug. That is to... in. That is in and that is done. I'm wondering if I should just build this for her and then make her take it apart at home. Mm, I don't know. That's... I don't know. You, you could take some of it apart. Like some, some of that stuff, it, you just... You're just better off just leaving all on the board. Like once you have everything assembled on the board, there you should just, aside from the graphics card, like you should just, yeah, you know, just leave it. Where's there's only one? Wait a second. There's only there's only one PCI thing. They've only got the little tiny PCI boards. They got one big one. Interesting. I well, it's a B. That's a B450 board. It's not meant for like higher end stuff. I guess you don't need, because who needs more than just a GPU and a couple of, like, maybe, you know, an extra USB port or something, right? Well, even then, the GPU is going to cover that first slot next to it anyway, because ah, of how wide a uh, graphics card is. Like, the heatsink for the graphics card is going to cover the next little slot, ah. so you really only have the one after that. Okay. Memory? Yeah. Da, da, da. Here you go. The unicorn vomit. Prepare. And, and you've got... You got two sticks there, right? I have two sticks, yes. Well, we'll find out, but I... I, I, I... Uh, who makes that board? MSI? This is an MSI B450M Pro. VDH. Okay. okay. I'm trying to make the boxing not too horrible so that I can sort of rebox it for her. Although, I say that, I think we're going to keep the memory in there as well, probably, aren't we? Much point in pulling that. Um, no, I could probably do this more for the... Ed we could probably do this more for the education of uh, the viewers. Yeah, look at this. Oh. But usually the only thing I look at... Um, look at that, did that board come with a paper manual or no? Oh, right. Manuals. Um, like an actual did, book? If it did, it's in the box. Probably. Do you want me to look? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm looking it up online. The only thing I usually have to look up in the motherboard manual is just to make absolutely sure that... The, they want you to or to populate the slots in a specific order. Yeah, Sometimes you got to go every other slot. one. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to find um, out the so I was, I'm, and, I'm looking it up. But the reason, so basically it won't identify that second one. If it's in the second slot, sometimes you have to put it in the uh, third slot. Exactly. Either that or it, or it might identify both of them and might give you all of the capacity of that Ram, but it might not communicate with it as fast as it can because it's only using one channel instead of two. Ah, uh, of of course, of course. Genius. Yeah, so that's that the... Looks uh, pretty, that looks pretty great. It's hard to believe that that's enough to keep this beast. Uh, is that... That might be the one... Oh, I don't know. I don't think that one has LEDs on it. This? That's just a black... This does not. That's just no. a black ring, right? Yeah. No, I felt like it was just an added... It was an added expense that I felt was better spent on a, on a nice keyboard. Yep. And fancy RAM. Rainbowy keyboard is probably cooler than Rainbowy. Uh... Exactly, yeah. CPU heatsink, yeah. All right, so my question is, is there a numbering to the boards that I need to worry about? Uh, numbering oh, to the... MM1 is the... Oh. Oh, there you go. Look, it's actually labeled. It says the... What? First is... Oh, yeah, it might just be labeled right there on the board. It's Okay, well, explain that to me. All right. Um, well, sometimes the labeling is uh, not great. So the labeling depending. here says... I don't know if you can see it. I'm looking. Let me just get a little further back. As, as good as a Twitch stream can let me look. Yeah, seriously. Let me see if I can. So it's it says dim A1, dim A2, dim B1, and and dim B2. And it says yes. the first, it says, is dim A2 and B2. There you go. So, yeah. So we want to put the first amount of memory in 2 and 2. 
Yep. So basically, we're going so the, two and yeah, two. So the, so the second and the fourth away from the CPU, it looks like, right? Okay. There was enough yep. room for me to put this in a place where you could see what's going on more. Hang on one second. So yeah, let me there. grab. Let me grab. So I just don't There's your to, answer. I don't want to be knocking things over while I'm, you know, as I can. There we go. See, they used to number them similarly. They would say A1, A2, B1, B2, something like that, right? Right. But the problem was... They wouldn't tell you if the letter or the number corresponded to two different channels. Huh. So you still had no idea, right. even with those labels, which is the reason that they eventually wised up and went, okay, look, people just need to know which ones you put the first two into. Well, and I think there was almost <laughs> Just draw an arrow. <laughs> there was almost a pride taken in, in being a bit cryptic about this stuff. Like, it was like, wow, you shouldn't be building a PC if you don't know what all the, you know, the the, the dual inline memory modules do. You know what I mean? Like, but but here's the thing: even the people that know all that stuff, still, with the way those boards are labeled, will still screw it up. Oh God, I'll right? overthink it all the time too. That's yeah, so so like that's so that's why I say like that's the only thing that I will usually open the motherboard manual for, unless it's like right there on the board and just says here, dummy. You know, okay, fine. That's a little better. People can see a little bit of what's going on here now, right? Um, until unless it gets too dark. All right, you get a sense. Okay, so you can certainly see. We've got some memory going here, and we're going to put uh, a one in here as labeled. I'm going to put it in, in DIM 2 and DIM, well, 4, basically, but A and B, basically. All right, okay. Uh, any rules on this stuff that I should know about? Hold it from the heatsink. Away from, hold it by the heatsink. Oh, they're pretty, wow. Pretty sexy. The RAM heatsink. These things. Look at that. And you can, I know you, I know there's one way of putting it in, too, so i got to make sure I get that right. That's that true. Way. It's keyed. So I've got the shorter one here. So I think it's just going to go in like, can you all see what's going on there? Put that in there. It won't let you do it the wrong way. Oh, it won't? Oh, great. Even better. So, It'll just teeter-totter on the key. And do I need to click it or does it click itself? I thought it snapped uh, in. Yeah, it well, I mean, you, ha me. you have to, it's DDR4. You're going to need a, a reasonable amount of downward force there. Yeah, that's weird because it didn't require anything. Okay, that stays where it is, fine. Okay, so I'll pop that in there. That is probably not in all the way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Uh, only one side uh, unlatches on DDR4. Okay, by am the I way. putting it in an angle or just putting it in a straight? Uh, just, you don't need a crazy angle, just relatively straight. Oh, that would be the problem. Look at that. Okay, right. That's weird. It's catching on. Come on. There it's going to catch. Okay, it's always going Especially in. on, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a okay. nice little, that definitely. You're close. Oh, yeah, there you go. That is, that is in. Okay. One, just checking to make sure that it's nice and level. Yep, looks good. First one in. Looks good. Ooh, okay. Oops. Rinse and repeat. All right, stickers, stickers everywhere. They love giving you stickers. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to B, let me just make sure that, have I got that the right one? I get. B2. B2, was that? How did we like that before? I think it was like that, wasn't it? The key, the notch is going to be closer to one side than the other, and it's going to line up with the same on the slot. Yeah. 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 It's just that you got to get it past. So you got to just get them past the first slot. There you go, and then it'll, then it should sit in there. He says, fumbling it beautifully. Come on, you beast! There we go. That going in. That's going in. Up. Ah, three, two, one. Oh, look at that! I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, look at this. Beast is ready to... Oh, oh, oh. All right. So we've got RAM. We've got CPU. We've got M1. Uh, M.2. The, the advantage of the M1 is... M.2. What was that? It's an M.2 SSD. Oh, sorry. M.2. M.2. I'm thinking of James Bond or something. Um, so M2. What does it stand for, M.2? Well... Ooh, did I there's, just stop there's, him? No, there's a bunch of different, there's M.2, there's U.2, there's like different, like short names, but uh, it's really uh, NGFF, which is next generation form factor. Seriously? But that's, but nobody calls it that. They just call it M.2. M.2 is nerds? like the, yeah. Why is it that we nerds have to make things so freaking complicated? 
Sorry. Um, well, you didn't name it. I'm not blaming you. I see. So it's basically that is, that just, is correct. It's just a style. <laughs> it's just a style for connecting it, basically. Yeah, it's physical form factor. So the physical, but but the advantage of these over the old days is that these are tied directly into the PCI, right? So they're just speaking directly to the to the CPU. Yeah. So that's the that's the electrical, uh, you know, form factor is that it's using PCI Express. Right. So it's using the same type of uh, communication that the graphics card slot uses, but just not as not as many uh, contacts. Right. And so basically, not even basically, this is effectively an extra slot because we in the old days, back in the yeah. old days, we'd have to put this into a PCI slot. Right. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. And they just said everyone's doing it. We might as well just build it into the into the motherboard. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Well, I mean, it was it was originally like the the driving factor for it was mobile was like laptops, right? Right. Because who wants to put uh you know a serial ATA or like a SATA two and a half inch SSD in a laptop? Still takes a decent amount of room in a laptop. Like yeah. we can make this smaller. I remember right? it well. I remember replacing them. I remember thinking, well, one day I'll get an SSD for that. Um, okay. Yeah. Those are going there. Okay. Next up. Uh, what should we go for? I guess we should, I don't think we're dealing with mics and keyboards just yet. So I'm guessing. Probably power uh, supply. Oh, power supply. No, shoot. Okay, fine. Power supply. I mean, uh, 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 650. Is that going to be enough? Yeah. Because if not, I got an 850 over there. Um, okay. But that's, I was. 650 is fine for that. I was saving that for me. They don't draw that much power, do they? Or I mean, com comparably, they don't draw as much power. Uh, well, as I mean. Power. I mean, for, for, for that particular system, it's not a super beefy graphics card and CPU, so it's not going to be super, you know, it'll draw some power, especially if you're gaming and doing stuff, but it's not going to draw 650 watts. Well, and this is what Lord Chunky, I mean, Lord Chunky keeps trying to talk me into not spending ridiculous amounts of money on my PC, because he says, like, I just won't use it. I don't. I well, don't that's the it. other thing. So power supplies actually have an efficiency curve to them. Hmm. In other words, they are usually most efficient somewhere around 70% or so of, of their rating. Huh. So that power supply running at around 400 watts is probably at its peak efficiency. It gets less efficient as the system's like not doing anything. But if it's not doing anything, then it's also not drawing any power in general. So it doesn't matter if the efficiency is low because it's only drawing like 50 watts or something anyway. So right. who cares if you're using an extra couple of watts, hmm. right? Yeah, so usually you'd want to select Sorry, the, the power chat, supply the just chat for... Said, someone said, how's it going? And someone in the chat said, so far we're doing good, nothing dropped. That's, yes, yes. Well, I could still knock this off. I could, it's very easy for me to knock this off the desk, so... Someone says, nothing dropped five seconds later. Exactly. Five seconds later. Um, so uh, you're going to want the I.O. ports of the motherboard facing you. Well, I think I'm just going to rotate the actual box instead of my fancy, oh, maybe a little bit. There you go. Okay. What yeah, you, you just spin the box. I.O., the I.O. Uh, ports? The I.O. ports, very good. Okay. Because because in the motherboard box, hopefully you put back in the motherboard box, was the I.O. shield, which is that plate that goes in the case. Alan, it's funny you should ask about that. It happens to be right here ah, in yes. the most organized PC creation lab known to man. Those are the infernal creations designed to slice your they fingers open. Really are. With someone should, it, they yes. should stop making cases in general that you slice your fingers open on. That that would be my not you know if I was going to change the world I I think I think, I'll hopefully think of better things. But you know, be one of them. you know it's kind of funny because the cases that are made of thicker metal that yeah. that will not slice your fingers open as easily yeah. are are then more difficult to get the IO shield to seat all the way in uh, yeah, because the metal's thicker. thicker. Metal. So yeah, then yeah, yeah. even if you don't cut your hand on the case, you're probably going to cut your hand on the IO shield. Ooh, so here we go. So we're, we're talking, I went modular. Just yes. because I'm sorry, I like modular. I just, I, I And there's a bunch of cables. Yeah, exactly. Just a bunch of cables. Um, a lot of which you're not going to need. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that is true. Uh, actually, what I want to do is I've got a bunch of old power supplies for computers. I'm going to turn them into power supplies for my electronics. Because there'd be there'd be good regular electric like like you know uh, current and stuff, right? I mean, it'd be there. All you gotta do is all you gotta do is bridge pins four and six. Really? That's it. Yeah. If you connect if you connect pin four to six on a power supply mm -hmm. out of the ATX connector, mm -hmm. that turns the that tells it to turn on. Huh. Perfect. Well, there you go. I'll be uh, I'll be doing that then. Because yeah. I have so many projects that need power, and I never have the. 
bright power. Ha! One thing dropped. Okay. Power supply. Ooh. Oh, that sweet smell of probably formaldehyde. Okay. So <laughs> this is the power. So the power supply really heart and soul of the machine here. This is what's going to keep it going. Ooh, I like that. Is some nice air cushioning there. They were. I swear to God, this is better packaged than the other more fragile components. Okay. Protect it. I do like, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the Antex. Uh, by the way, none of this is sponsored other than DSTAT was the one who provided all the parts and I thank him very much for that. Um, but uh, none of this is sponsored. This is all stuff that we picked out that either Lord Chunky suggested I get or Alan helped out with or uh, deals. <laughs> Any deals I found, I got. Deals are good, Although especially now it's getting... You know, it's a good thing you ordered that stuff when you did because prices are starting to go up. And it's nuts. It's crazy now. I yeah, I yeah. I, I can't get my own computer now. Um, okay. Right. So lots of little screws. That's nice. Power supply. I'm guessing that we're setting it up for the time being. Um, so don't lose those screws because those are possibly going to be needed to hold the power supply into the case. Right. Okay. So it's probably a bag of four with, screws. I'm gonna keep that with the box. That's, that's a good point. That is something yes. I find myself doing a lot. Is of the is the, sometimes ah, the sometimes the case comes with uh, its own set of screws for that that are like color coordinated. Maybe sometimes it depends. Let's see how but fancy these if, are. These yeah. are color coordinated. They're all silver. Okay. Okay. So I put those in there. Um, I'm guessing we're not gonna be plugging anything in until I've plugged everything in. So uh, power for this baby. CPU power one. ATX power. So to make this easy on you, you, I would recommend probably taking some of the other boxes off of your turntable so you can have the power supply opposite the I.O. shield and away from you. Very wise. Okay. Right. That way the power supply is like in the back compared to where you're working. Okay. So I put the power supply back here. There's my cables. That's okay. All right. So. Right. This is kind of exciting, I've got to say. Okay, uh, take these off. Uh, so in our situation here, we don't need the SATA cables. Um, well, if it's modular, those are probably not even connected. The only thing, the only ones that are connected, if there are any connected at all, are probably the ATX power and the CPU power. This has the coolest looking twist tie thing that I cannot figure out how to, how to oh, oh, I know, it's probably because I'm pulling it the wrong way, isn't it? Um, Let's go, come on, come on. Ah, one of like my favorite inventions hook. on the planet is the uh, is the cable tie, I've got to say. I do love my cable ties. Okay, so the beast, oh, look at that, snake of power. Okay, so given- I'm trying to see what you got there. Okay, I'm thinking if I put these, this is my giant ATX cable, if I remember correctly. That is a pretty obvious connection. Yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, if everyone's okay with that. If I rotate it around so we can see what's going on. Uh, move this up a little bit. So what I've An got... a lot of other cables there for a modular power supply. I know there are a lot, aren't there? I don't think that's a modular power supply. You know what? It might be... Um, it may be a partially modular. Because it's got... Oh, okay. Look, I'll show you. It's, it's got, got some extra cables? It's got... Yeah. It's got, a, it's got basically a couple of PCIEs. Um, and it's got the ones that you're going to use no matter what is it, basically what those you're are connected permanently. I think is the idea. Yeah. 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 Um, and which I'm is, which is fine. Place this. Yeah. That's I, that now that, now that you say that, I remember it was, it saved us a, a chunk of change. And again, yeah. I mean, it's funny. It, it was not hard, thankfully. And I, you know, that we had a, we had a budget of 1500 for this. Um, and it, it, thankfully it, it just, it isn't hard to get a really good system for that. Now, do we want these cables wound around each other? Probably not, right? I mean, I'm guessing we want Afraid to just keep them. them separate. Okay. Got to keep them separated. Okay. Keep them separated. Hmm. All right. So this is going on. This is where I broke it. I broke a motherboard doing this, by the way, once. Dear. Yeah. I snapped it. Uh, you know, I need to move that window. Hang on a second. The, your rocking motion should not go in such a way that it will snap the port off of the board. It should rock the opposite directions <laughs> rock okay, if I can... like in other words holding both sides of the long edge of the atx power connector and you kind of like rock it into the uh holding port both that way ed like there like that 
and then rock it. Like in, like instead of instead of snapping it off over the side there, you would like, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna rock it like this. Yeah, you're still gonna have to push down pretty hard, God, and that's normal. This makes me so nervous. Okay. I know. Any of the forcing stuff makes me very. I'm also worried that it's giving. Oop, who's that? Um, it, it clicked. No, you know what? It was me hitting the the dim thing. There we go. That's okay. in. That is definitely in now. He says, thankfully. Uh, okay, that's in. That's good. That one's done. So now okay. we're also going to need power. You need CPU power. CPU power, which is over. Oh, man. Which is a separate 8 pin connector that looks like a GPU power connector, but it's not. Okay. Here we go. And it should be like right next to it, might even be in the same braided style thing as the uh, ATX. Hmm. Maybe. Unless there are no more braided style cables. There are no more braided style cables. There is a... Oh, right. Yes. This is that weird one that has the, the dual... Like, that ties together, isn't it? It's this one. So you have to sort of snap it together. Yeah. The GPU ones are six with two extra pins. Yes. The CPU one is four pins and four pins that can be separated. Okay. So why do I have two here? You have two what? I've got, I've got like two... I've got two of these... CPU power CPU connectors? power connectors. That you, there can be two. Oh, okay, right. Uh, and I, I that guess... Motherboard, that motherboard probably does not have two places. No, to it doesn't. Put them. No. Um, yeah. And my guess is I'm probably going to be better to go with the first one as opposed to the one at the end of the chain. Wait a minute. There's two. Are you sure those are not GPU power connectors? Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, there is a... Are... What do we got here? Oh, maybe okay. It's this one. Is it six pins plus two extra pins? Yes. Those are GPU power connectors. Yes, I want two fours, don't I? Oh, Correct. It's two four, eh? Left and right, eh? Okay. Yeah, the uh, GPU ones are the ones that they tie two together at the end because some graphics cards just have two of those connectors on them, and they just have one cable just powers the whole graphics card. Right. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at this. But one. sometimes you uh, might actually have two CPU power connectors like coming out of that power supply. It is right. possible. Not on the same cable like the GPU ones are. I'm to rotate this one around so you can see what's going on. Okay, so here we go. So this is my baby right here. That is that is clearly labeled CPU power one. And I'm taking these two cables. Hello. Yeah. And I'm putting them together. Uh, where's the catch on this side? Okay. Catch is I'm building it. Uh, you know, it occurs to me, Alan, I should really be doing this without with a with a with a skimpy t-shirt on so I can flex my muscles while I'm doing it, right? Isn't that how one builds PCs? Oh, yeah, nowadays? yeah, yeah. I was like, really? Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, you can build PCs, too? I was like, come on, it's like Lego. All right, that's in. Uh, I got to say, he seems like a really nice guy to that Henry Cavill slash Superman guy. Um, all right. That build was that build was pretty cool. Was it a good build? Yeah. I didn't watch the whole build, but it had some good... Yeah, good yeah he did. A, he, he even... He even got the uh, CPU uh, water block on like upside down, so the display was showing upside down, and he had to like his OCD kicked in, and he had to like flip it back around the other way. Of course, because yes. uh, wow, there was a display on his. Oh, geez. okay, fine. Well, you know what? So yeah, he had a really right fancy. Right he had like a water, a CPU water cooler that had like a display on it that shows the temperature and everything. Huh. It was fancy. Uh, Super God, fancy. Was it? There was somebody I got. There was a mistake with SAG once, and I got checks. For Henry Cavill. Literally, <laughs> I got checks for Superman from Henry for Henry Cavill. Were they a lot larger than what you were used they to seeing? They were a lot bigger than the checks I got from Starrgate, <laughs> should I say. Um, and they were like residual checks. And I guess they'd screwed up somehow and sent a whole bunch. Like, we got a, literally a whole bunch of... Was it Henry Cavill? Or was it someone else? Funny, though. I feel like it was... I think it was Henry Cavill. I'll have to ask with Jane. But yeah, we, had, we, had to, we mailed them off to um we mailed them off to his agent and uh and uh i put a little i put a little note in saying that you know feel free to thank me in person because <laughs> i thought, be my friend please be my friend um anyways okay so that is is that all the power we're dealing with well you should only have gpu power left i, I mean sh she should do this herself for god's sake why am i doing this okay because you got to make sure it works i know David. yeah We'll get this working, and then I get to pull it all apart again. I'm much better at breaking things, Alan, than I am in making them. I okay. know. GPU time? Should I pull that baby out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da. There we go. So we didn't go crazy, because it didn't seem like 
Although 1660 is way nicer than anything I've got, I'll say. Or Baz for that there is, matter. There is nothing wrong with that graphics card. No. Would she know? Could I just give her the other? I've got an old one over here. I could just put it in and tell her that like, that's, the, that's the newest one that she's got. She, she would know. All right, Alan. Once again, the your, white your older one. Shirt. Your older one is your older uh, next oldest uh, graphics card, uh, AGP. Right, let me have a look. I instead see. of instead of PCI, um, <laughs> like not even the right up, slot. It takes up like fifteen slots. It's. I should pull it out for you. It's. It, it is the oldest. Let me see if I can find it for you. Right, I'm pulling. I'm pulling a slot now. It takes two slots. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, I'm not looking at the screen. Who is this? Um, Lord Chunky. Chunky, how are you, sir? Good. So, so sorry, I say I, uh, I haven't all night school and then a piano lesson. I heard. I said. I told everyone that you couldn't be here right now because you were getting way smarter than any of us. Uh, that was. <laughs> that's my old one. He was playing. He's playing chopsticks. Uh, no, this dude. I'm telling you, I've heard Lord Chunky play. Um, and it's all right. Like, so what card is that? It is a. N760. Oh. I don't even know Ooh, what that is. Oh, wow. Super fancy. Oh, that's an old one. Yeah, that's the old it's one. It's old. But it's like, yeah. yeah, look how boxy that sucker is. Okay. Uh, so, Lord Chunky, I haven't dropped anything yet. I, I haven't broken anything yet. That's very good. Yeah, not bad, huh? Uh, and I haven't electrocuted myself. But I've got many, many cameras going at the same time. I was really wishing you would say that's very rare. Well, it is kind of. I mean, to be know. fair. Yeah. Um, all right. As Noodles always points out, I can hurt myself with a glue gun. Okay, here we go. I've got this. Well, I, I mean, they're hot. All right. Yeah. I've hurt myself with a glue gun before. Who has it? You know, don't worry. As far as sayings like that go, we had uh, cooks on the submarine that could burn water. <laughs> that was, I <laughs> failed to make mac and cheese once. When I first moved out, I made mac and cheese and... I just wasn't really thinking, and there may have been some drinking involved. And I made oh dear, I made it. I made the mac and cheese, and then we sat down to eat it. And I cooked everything except the noodles. I put the noodles in water, and then just took them out of water. But I forgot to turn the water on. Sweet. I managed to uh, uh, al dente, as I called it. <laughs> yeah, crunchy. Exactly. Mm, yeah, right. Lord Chunky. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, you can also oh, dropped, thank most of the box. research to Lord Chunky. By the way, <gasps> life is like a box of chocolates. Uh, here we go. Ooh, look, it gets its own little coffin. Look at that. All right. This is it. So you see, I'm assuming that this is a Lord Chunky uh, approved build because I'm building it on the on the yep. motherboard box, right? Yeah, that's First. good. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Well, because you're just testing it to see if it will work for exactly. noodles, right? Because I don't want to like... Okay, yeah. So I don't even think we should put it in the case then. Oh, you don't think you yep. like just let her figure the case out? No. Yeah. Yeah, just I wouldn't put it in the case. The case. It's just yeah. the case is... I think the case, the case like, is the hardest part. The case right. is the hardest part? Cable management is what takes the longest, for Except sure. that I feel like noodles will be better at cable management than I would be. But we'll Probably see. better than all of us. Okay. Maybe. It's possible. I don't know. Chunky... Just give her a pack of zip ties or something. You know, we finally took your advice, Lord Chunky, and we stuck a, a Venom action figure under our uh, CPU, uh, under our GPU there. in Baz's computer. That's good. Yeah, so it's yeah, not sagging. It really so sag. We pulled it apart, pulled it out, vacuumed out the small hamster's worth of dust in there, and then <laughs> reseeded it and stuck venom to hold it up. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Like a small city of graphics joy. All right. I feel like I can't take the plastic off. Shouldn't she do that? Yeah, the plastic is just... You don't have to take it off. Okay, good. Because I feel like that's something she should do. I, that, I don't want to take yeah. that joy away. Um, she doesn't want you to gladly walk over somewhere to peel off some plastic. That's exactly, yeah. Um, so okay, so... Uh, right. Now I gotta find... Oh, I was like, where the hell is the... Where do I put it? It's beautifully covered and protected. Remember? Yeah, there's a there's a protector on it. It's the actor-proof protector. There you go. It's... All right. Oh, God. Off you come. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this baby, I only have one choice on this board as to where to put this. And that Correct. Is right. Um, oh, it only has one. Yeah. Only oh, is that weird? It's, not... it's, it's probably um MBTX, micro ATX. That's sick. It's what? What do you call it? Micro ATX. 
It's not micro. That... I don't think it's that small. No, I think it's just a. It's called a cheap ATX. No, micro <laughs> ATX is just the cheap stuff. It's you know mini it is? ITX it's like... is the small one. Micro ATX is just ATX width, but just like shorter. Yeah. So less slots and expansion. So it's yeah, just cheaper. Yeah, it might be a micro. It might be. I that's think a good it point. Is. I hadn't thought of that. I mean, but they... it'll fit in anything. So yes, exactly. Say. That's good. Yeah, that's good because I've done that before too. Oh, look at that! My cooler doesn't fit in my. So uh, if you want, before you plug that in, you could save yourself a little heartache and plug in the power connectors oh, onto it. While it. Yeah, do it while you can get a good grip on the card. Okay, I'm going to put this on back on again so I don't screw mm -hmm. it up. Okay, yeah. so... Because otherwise you're trying to jam them in when it's, while it's plugged into the slot. Yeah, yeah. And, right. Yeah. I guess a lot more. Okay, my question is this. Yeah. Do we want me to plug in the very end cable or the one that leads up to it? Um, both... Oh, you only have... Oh, it uh... only has one slot. Oh. It only has one power, power efficient. Yeah. yeah, it only has one. You do the first, the first one on the cable, closest okay. to the power supply. Um, that's not essential, I'm guessing, but just from a way it looks, it'll probably look better that way too, right? Yeah, because then you would uh, like you would you know zip tie it or uh, you know mm -hmm. cable t cable tie it like back on itself. Yeah. I'm gonna show so my computer what I did probably unnecessary. The, I bought some cable mod cable extensions. Yeah. Uh yeah. Did you get them? They, okay. Fancy. You got the cable extensions? Yeah. So is like that a six-pin or... Like really nice. Is that a six-pin or an eight-pin on that card? Six Probably pin eight plus pin. two. Uh, eight the pin. pins on this one are the same, I think. Six plus two. Six plus two, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and the tricky thing with these things is I'm going to point out to people because it, it gets me every time. You need to put the separate one below, just a little bit below the lip. So yeah, that the... it has little plastic tabs to yeah. hold it. So that the yeah. larger one holds it in place. I that yep. you know uh, we uh, chunky when we redid Baz's mm -hmm. CPU the other day, yeah. I realized that that's why that was the problem we were having. Oh, and Alan, you, of course, you were part of this as well. The really, is that, was, that why it uh, crashed so much? It because the cake because this little guy right where is it? This was little guy here <laughs> wasn't tucked underneath and was loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's, that that would that would stop it from uh, booting there you potentially. Go. So, uh, so I'm a genius or just for figuring that out. Not be it, happy. It's supposed to throw up a warning on the screen that says, "Hey, you need to connect power." Oh but... yeah, it does. Yes, that's true. It did that for the rebuild. Okay, so that's going in. Look at that. We're looking. That just goes in there. And as you say, oh my God, it's so easy when it's not sitting on the. On the yeah. Lid. Once, you, once you know the trick, the it just goes right in. in. That just kind of. Yeah. I'm pop pulling that off. Uh, I feel like... yeah. And then I'm just going to pop this in right here. Right? Uh, can you see what's going on? If I pull this around here, is that better? Oh, yep. let me just turn my hat on. You might have to slide the motherboard a little forward. Oh, yeah, sure. There's like a little thing like on the ramp stick to push outwards. You on that or else it doesn't slot in. Oh, oh right. There's a little yeah. clippy thing, isn't it? So, sorry, you're saying I've got to clip this in first? Well, you got to slide the motherboard um, a little forward on the box. Forward? Yeah, because the... the uh... The back plate for the graphics card needs to hang off of the edge of the motherboard. Right. Okay. So let me just yeah. get this in. Because usually there would be a place for that to go if it was in a case, but you know, you're not right. in a case. I haven't given it quite enough room. I'm getting a little bit warm, right? Okay. All right. So this is. Can we still sort of see what's going on? Yeah, you can. We could. Put it there. No. Go straight oh, in. It just snap right in. <gasps> What a magnificent... That could not be. Okay, Noodles, if you screw this up, I'd be amazed. Noodles isn't here yet at all. I wouldn't say that. Um, You're going to jinx it. Yeah. I, you'll, that's true. Noodles yeah. isn't in the, in the call, so Noodles wouldn't hear that. That's true, but Maybe she'll she's probably watching watch the it later. Who knows? Um, she's very loyal. Okay, so I'm just going to just double check that. Because this is what screwed us up last time, was that. That seems to be sitting nicely. Uh... Are we going to try a little power up? Oh, I need a yeah. monitor. Do it. Yeah, you need like oh, monitor need, um, and... You also need power pins because it's not in a case. You need some sort of something to power it on. The hell am I that is true. Um, hmm. If you have a flathead screwdriver, I can tell you which pins to bridge. Yeah, Hold on. Wait. Fun way. <laughs> Hold on. Does that motherboard have a power button on it? Just out of curiosity? It might not That's if it's it. a, a B-series. Oh my god, it's got ancient old, cape, old things on it. No, sometimes they have a little power button on them just to make your life easier. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, yeah, one of those little, little hmm. system fan. It would usually be around where the front panel connectors would go. 
So that little section of like uh, 12 pins, like two rows of pins next to each other. I don't see anything. That's what no. I, I, I... Okay. I'll have to jump. Is there not one? I'm, uh, oh, let's I see. see. I got so the manual here. Right. Okay, so we'll jump right to get. Shouldn't it be like a little JPS 11? Where's the. Yeah, because we're going to have to plug in all that, all that stuff on the motherboard, aren't we? Mm -hmm. You don't have to plug in all that stuff for the, that would normally go to the case. You don't. You can get away with without doing that. I don't see a power button. I mean, unless there's okay. check that you can check the manual, but I. Yeah, I'm I'm flipping through the manual right now. Of course you are. I Let's don't see. Uh... See anything that looks even remotely button-like? Yeah, I don't think there's one. So if on we this just board. jump it together, we'll be able to at least get it up and running, and see if that if that's going to work for us. Uh, monitor, yeah. monitor, 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 monitor. Hmm. Make sure the power supply is plugged into the wall. Yes, I'm just trying to think of where we're going to get a monitor from so we can see what's going on. What if I put a tiny little monitor? Does a bass have two monitors? He does. Who needs two monitors? Just take one. I got three here, but I'm using one of them for streaming. Uh, maybe I could do. Oh, I know. I'll just three take... monitors. I'll just take, <laughs> uh... Who needs three monitors? Just take one. <laughs> well, then I'll just take one of the. Uh... I, I need three monitors. It's well, I don't need it. I have. I normally have Discord on one, game on one, and just YouTube on the other. Yeah, I would say it's definitely one hundred percent necessary that you can do all three of those things at once. Yes. I just keep it there cuz I don't really know why I keep Discord open. I have this nice portable one. <laughs> How about that? It's actually a TV, but Or that, that. Right? yeah, that works. Yeah. Just gotta find That's one way to go. Uh, where can I lean? I'll lean it up over there and then we can see this. Boy, you really need a stand for that thing. Yeah. It's really <laughs> old, like really old. You just drop it on the floor. Basically. Uh, it does have HDMI, correct? Just it check does it. Have, yes, it does. I'll okay. Put it right there. In fact, if I tilt it up a little bit, you'll be able to see it from there, maybe. How's that? Why do I feel like this could go horribly wrong? Uh, it's probably going to. This is this may be where it falls apart. Okay. Just make sure you try to prop up the TV before you plug in the computer, so when the TV falls, it doesn't burn the computer doesn't with it. doesn't pull the computer with it. Ah, see? Exactly. Lord Chunky knows me so well. Okay, <laughs> so, uh... Alright, uh, now I need an HDMI cable. All of a sudden, this room has become very small. <laughs> Damn, how about that for HDMI? Oh, holy moly. Okay, I don't think we have to worry about it. Check this out for an HDMI cable. Wait. That, that is a very long cable. What do you normally use that for? Or uh, have you ever used that use before? I to take to to put another uh, camera in the other room, but it's too big. Oh. The cable is too chunky because it's got Ethernet built in as well. <laughs> so it it basically sorry I shouldn't say Ethernet built in. It uses the Ethernet to um, keep the signal going. If that makes sense. Okay, so I'm looking down here. You can see oh. I'm just going to plug them in right here. <gasps> that is not what I think it is, is it? Is that what? No, 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 you don't. Oh, is no, that you're not... here, HDMI. You're not, you're not going there, David. Oh, you don't right, want to plug the HDMI. That's the motherboard. Uh, yes, you're yeah, correct. You want to plug it I don't want to use the card. crappy motherboard one. Exactly. No, you don't want that. Right. All right, let me just rotate this. On the graphics card. Well, wait a second. Yeah. The point of that, though, is just to make sure that... So you can use that for testing, basically? Is that... Or do people actually... Oh, no. Use this Sometimes you can just have an APU. Yeah. Well, that that doesn't even have an APU, so it wouldn't do anything. It would just not yeah. work. Yeah, some of the CPUs that you could have bought for that board would have, like, a minimal graphics built in. Or some of the ones, like some of the AMD... Yeah, like some this, of them are decent. But it's got yeah. an HDMI port, like, so... Pretty decent. So what is that... What's that going to output, then? Nothing. Nothing on that all. system, nothing. It's just there to look. If good. you had a different CPU, maybe something. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, okay, I got it. I see. So the CPU would be handling that on some of them. I see. Okay. All yeah. right. So that's plugged in. That is a horrible, horrible connection. Okay. I can feel the pressure of it on the on the CPU here on the uh, motherboard here. Let me do that. Yeah, you're right. This is where it's going wrong. This is where it's all falling. Oh, oh, oh! I just pulled out the GPU. The GPU just came out. 
Don't worry. It, it's like, fine. It has a little everybody. latch on the this side. Is that she's build. Build. I'm sure Henry Cavill had problems too. The latch Actually, holds the, the latch holds the back, not the, the front, unfortunately. Yeah, it holds the. Yeah. So, hang on. It's 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 okay. Uh, I Henry Cavilled it. It's fine. Okay, let me grab a. These things are the best best invention ever. Clamp it. Makes it a little bit more difficult for me to knock things over. This now goes to my other TV. It's a very heavy television. HDMI in. Right there. Oh, I need to plug it in too, don't I? Uh, power. Huh, how was I powering it before? That's interesting. Your power connector is uh, facing us. Uh, yeah, I don't have a, but I don't have a, um, I need a cable for the TV. Hang on, let me just grab it. This is the part where David trips a breaker. Um, I have to go to get ready for school. To get ready for school. Well, to get school done. Oh, all right. Well, look, dude, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Yeah, also, were you in Stargate Atlantis? I was, yes. I, I saw you in there because we were watching it on Amazon. Oh, fantastic. He didn't believe me when he when I told him. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah he just skipped film class to do this, and I told him that that was not okay. <laughs> Wait a sec, you skipped film class to do this? Yeah, I asked my teacher if I could skip class to do this. Oh my gosh. She well, said quick, yes. Give me, some, give me a quick question you can answer for him. What would, what would he or she ask you that, that you could have learned from an actor? Um, is it true that it's a lot of hard work? Uh, it's one of those things, I think the hard work comes from the part where you're not working. It's hardest trying to get the job and live your life as an actor. Once you get the job, like everyone always just sees the actors working. That is the best part ever. Like you're looking at the happiest actor right now because I've got work that will be coming up at the end of January, beginning of February. So I'm in a great mood. But the problem is for large periods of time, you often, especially at the beginning, you find yourself not working. So the hardest part about acting, I'm convinced is you get paid so much when you're acting, which is actually fun. You get paid so much then to make up for all of the time that you're not working. Does that make sense? Because you have to work so hard to get the job. Basically, you have to learn the entire part. You have to perform the part. You have to put it on tape or go in and meet people. You've got to like try to get it all right in one go. And then when you get the part, you get to set. You can screw it up as many times as you want because they want to get it perfect, right? So all of a sudden it's a whole different world. Like I think it's like auditioning is one type of a job and then once you get the job, it's a whole different world. So yes, it is very hard work being an actor, but the actual acting is fabulous. It's just amazing. If you can get the job, basically. So are you thinking about acting? Yeah. Oh? Huh? Are you thinking about acting as a, as a career? Yeah, actually. You um, are. Uh, oh. I wanted to be an actor and stuff. And then because I thought actors are kind of pretty cool because they they well, play a whole yeah, bunch of different people. Yeah. And so it's um, it's definitely a neat look. I say if you want to get into acting, and, and one of the things I want to do, which you may be interested in, actually, is I want to do a couple of these tech bandits, but do them as like film bandits. So basically, we geek out about film and television and internet and all that kind of stuff. Um, and talk about all this kind of stuff. But basically, I would say if you want to act, the best thing you could do right now is uh, figure out how to uh, how to make your own stuff. Because then you learn everything you need to know about acting and about filmmaking and about TV and, and working with people and all that kind of stuff. And you get to make your own stuff as well. So that would be my suggestion on that. But good luck. Okay. And, don't, and, and for God's sake, don't get me in trouble by skipping school for this. You'll get me, you'll get me knocked off the, off the old Twitch. <laughs> But okay. thank you for joining us, and say thanks to your mom for figuring it all out for us. Yeah, I did. All right, good man. We'll see you soon. Have a good all right, weekend. See you soon. All right, cheers, man. Um, that was our newest bandit, by the way.
from Seattle, I think mm-hmm. he was from. Seattle, wow. Yeah. Uh, let me get a let me get a plug and then I can get this thing done. All right, hang on two seconds. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can still hear. I'll send back. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to do just a, like, I mean, normally I just try to avoid acting in general when I'm not acting, but um, I just think it'd be kind of fun, because I remember I got into it around 14. That's when I started, that was where my, sort of, mm-hmm. that's where I realized it could actually be a job. Um, so I'm kind of looking, I, I kind of like the idea that I could maybe convince people either to do it or, or not to do it, depending on on what uh, what I tell them about it. All right, okay, so I've got power. Do I have power? I will in a moment. Here we go. All right, can you see the screen at all? I really can't, can you? I'll move this no, around a little bit. Yeah. So if I do that, you can sort of see a bit of the screen as well. Is it posting? Uh, no, I haven't actually plugged it in yet. I just got the TV working at this point. Okay, uh, wait, do you have the SSD in there? Okay, the SSD is Yeah, in. he does. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, we're... Chunky. Do you want to pre-install Windows for her? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't have Windows. Do you want me to, like... Do you know... If you don't have one, I have a stick. I could just run over and put it in your mailbox. You have a stick? Oh, yeah. I have a stick. Yeah. But wait a sec. But they can't use the same stick as me, though, can they? No, no, no. no it's not a... a stick with the operating system. It, it, it's, with, it's just with the operating system. It doesn't have a code or anything. Yeah, it's the installer. Because most of the time, what you buy is just, like, a code. But I have an installer. Well, I have... A USB that I use to install. Our now wait a minute. Would that work? Doesn't doesn't she want to do the installation? Does she? Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's Say get it running. We'll find fun out. Part. I mean, she'll probably join us later anyway. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Wait a second. I'm plugging in the power. How do I do that? Is there need a cable or something? I missed something. Teach you how to uh, how to jumpstart a PC. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like hot without a PC. W- without being in the case. Yes. Nice. Uh, okay. Now, do, do you want me to have power on for this? You will need power. Okay. Then I shall plug in our magnificent power supply. Plugged in there. That's plugged in. Plugged in over here. All right. Okay. Remind me not to spin the lazy Susan now. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's plugged in. Because <laughs> that's what's gonna next thing. I'm gonna go like this, and it's all gonna get dragged off the UA. Uh, is there uh, a better place the TV? What if I move the TV over here? It's so portable. I figured I might as well just move it. No, son of a. Is that better? Can we see it better now? Or have I just made it even harder to see? Slightly harder. Might be. There we go. There Can't tell for sure because this. Uh, let me let me refresh this Twitch okay. video because it's, it's like. Over. So if that. So I've got sort of part of a TV there. Um, I wonder if I can wait a second. It's possible. I mean, it's not gonna. It, it's so thick that it might just sit on the. I feel this could go badly. <sighs> Actually, wait. Are you, David? Are you sending your video feed out to the Discord or no? Yes. You don't have to. I'm just asking. I should. Oh, not this one, but, but the. I mean. All right. Don't make any sudden moves. Dear. No sudden moves. This is the day we broke a television. It's an old one. It's fine. <laughs> this would be. This is the quality entertainment that people want. The potential. And you're gonna, gonna try to punch the television. Just be yeah. like, oh, we're done with this. And just slap it down. All right. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Do I need a cable to do the jump ring with? You can do it with a screwdriver. Can you? Ooh, the fun Sweet. way. Yes, the fun way. We're gonna teach him the fun way. Okay, what do we got? We're gonna add. We're gonna add a punch. Uh, we're gonna add a star to his uh, to his geek card today. All right. Whoops. I've got cables <laughs> hanging over. Over the. Rail okay. At this point, let's go around. Now, them. the on the edge of the motherboard, closest to the camera. Closest to the camera. Right. Right here. Uh, 
Do you want me to tilt down a bit? On the right, uh, towards the right edge, or furthest away from you, towards the edge furthest away from you. That's closest mm -hmm. to you. The... I have a delay because I'm looking. Okay, oh, no, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, over there, towards over there, maybe about an inch or two away from that corner. There's going to be a, uh, I think it's JFP1. Yep. It is, it's a pin header. It's got five mm -hmm. pins closest to the edge, four pins, yep. you know, back a row. Got it. Okay. Got it. Out of those four pins, mm -hmm. The two that are furthest away from you yes. are the two that you need to jumper. Okay, so I'll turn it on. Well, it's a jumper first. Let's. I'll show you the jumpers. No, no, no. You can you can turn the switch on on the power supply. Okay. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna connect those two like that. You just have to tap the screwdriver between those two pins out of the four furthest away from you. God. Yes. I feel like a like a like I'm hot wiring a car in a in a Nicolas Cage movie. All right, so I'm turning yeah, this I mean, on, and then I hit. The, yes. What did you say? The far two one? The far two. Well, <laughs> there's a row of five and there's a row of four. Right. The row of four should be to your left. Yep. As you're looking at it. And the furthest one's away. The, out of those four, the two that are the furthest away from. Got me. it. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm firing it up. <laughs> here I go. I can't find the button. It's somewhere over here. I don't know where it. The, someone move the button. Oh, I got it. All right, ready? So I, do I have to do it in any kind of speed or just at any point? No, you just kind of, you'll, you'll know because the system will power on once you. Oh, okay. All right, it's on. And then I just tap it. Nothing. It's, it's possible that the power supply was on and now it's off. Ah, really? It's so quiet if that's the case. Where'd you go? Is there a fan on? There's no fan on. Yeah, there's nothing on. Oh no, the power slides fan would turn on if you checked. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not getting any power at all from it. Yeah, Just go look at the back of the power yeah. supply and yeah, check. Go look, at the, the... go look at the switch on the power supply because yeah. it's going to tell you which one is uh, on or off. That's so weird though. Why is it not? Uh, I always get confused by this. Do we want the circle or the. We don't want the line, don't we? Or the circle. You want the line to be pushed in. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. So that's on. It's on. Oh, I see a light. I see a light. Okay, one sec. Let me do this. Now you're primed and ready to hot wire. Okay. If you how about it should do it right away. She's touching both the pins. I wish you could see which pins you were doing. You want to hear this? Look up. So Grab that. These two right here. Can you see? I'm doing these two right. Here. Looking. I'm looking. Oh, got it. That was it. That was, that it. was it. Okay, nice. Ooh, Ooh it's got a nice there pretty go. light on the graphics. It does. Look at that. Oh, wait a second. Check this out. You got to miss it. And the part. memory looks Look at that. very nice. And the Wraith is already sucking out the fumes. HDMI cable connected. What was that noise? And then it died. Oh no, there you go. Oh, okay. CMOS has been cleared. Please enter setup to configure your system. F1 to run setup. F2 to load. Default values to continue. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, do you have a keyboard? Do we Look at you. Screen? Look at you at the post screen. We got the post screen. Yay, post screen. That's it, right? I mean, there's not much else to do without the Windows installer. Now it's her problem. Yeah. Or do we install Windows for her? Uh, I yeah, mean, she can the... install Windows. She can install Windows. Yeah. It's, it's, it's thing you got to go through. Part yeah. of the process. It's a good uh, learning experience. Mm -hmm. It's a learning experience. How should you need a USB stick? That's at least eight gigabytes, and then yeah. Um, yes. Well, right. Although, will she be? Yeah. Okay. So then, what she would do then is she'd put the stick in. She'd boot it up, having put it in the if she case. Yeah. And it would just, it would just start installing. Like it would it would go through some some prompts and ask right. you a couple of questions. Sometimes and, they have yeah. a special one for it, but they don't here. I guess that maybe it's a no, no. It just any Do any. Can you move the camera and fully show what it says on the I can, TV? Because I've I never will. actually seen a. I've never seen a moderator with not moderator, a Mod monitor without windows on it. So it says. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's say, basically saying like, you know, it doesn't. Doesn't have anything it can do right now. Well, actually, it's showing these. Well, if you press uh, F11, you can do um, the BIOS. 
Yeah, you can go into the BIOS. Well, it's just, yeah. How am I gonna press F11? Picture like Windows, Smarty, but then really bad, <laughs> and it looks like it's for gamers. Text text only Windows. Oh my God! Well, it's uh, awful. Uh, text only Windows. Except that it would have some like really basic board, graphics sometimes. Yeah, that motherboard might might have a graphical BIOS. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. retro cool though, like because it looks like it looks like the old DOS days. Yeah. Did you get? So, did totally you get that those, uh, Wolf Pop? So it's basically it's saying our CPU's okay. It's saying that our memory. How many gigabytes has... of RAM show up? Do both oh, yeah, show do up? The yeah, up? Sixteen. Does it show? Did you put okay? The two sticks are not right next to each other. Exactly. Right? Yes. Oh, they sorry are. for hitting my mic. I was <laughs> moving my hand and I hit it. Sorry. Look at the lights on those things. I mean, that's beautiful. Also, can I tell you something cool? What do you got? My dad made a Rust server. I'm pretty sure I've already told you. Yes. Told you. I shouldn't have said told. And people are actually playing it. Oh yeah. You got people on there. Um, not at the moment. It's only me and my dad at the moment, but people have been joining, and the PC has been running fine with people on it. Oh, that's cool. And is the idea, is he going to, like, is this, like, is this, like, going to be just open to the public type thing? Is that the idea? This is a public server. All right, what do I do? I it's think... been random people joining. Which is so funny. How do they find you? Is he, like, putting it out there? Or, like, how does he... How do people find Um, the they server? look for low pop servers, which I'm pretty sure you know, low population. Population, yes. Look at that. Because the server yeah. was just made like two days ago. Yeah. And they find this one, and people are asking, how are you hosting the server? Because someone asked, is anyone online? And then they said, yeah, I'm online. Right. And then they asked, how did you find this server? And then my dad said, yeah, the I am the server creator. And they're like, and the idea, I guess, is to get in early so you can set up on a server. I'm just going to put this microphone next to the computer because I cannot believe. How oh, yeah. Wait, this David, is. which um, which RAM is that? Hold on. Let me go look at the link. Uh, it's the G skill. Trident Z Neo. Trident Z Neo. Yeah. Does it Listen. need to be? Uh... Sorry, David, this. This next line is going to fly over your head, but does it need DOCP enabled to get the full speed? Wait, isn't it? Um, wait, it's not DOCP. What's like... DOCP? On AMD boards, it's called DOCP. Oh, it's called of, something uh, different. Yeah. Oh, okay. XMP on Intel, DOCP on AMD. It's oh, okay, I didn't know. So, okay, so David, so David, I'll, I'll get you up to speed. Sometimes you have to change a little bit of the configuration in the system BIOS in order for the memory to go the full speed that it's advertised to, to go. Ah, what is this supposed to um, be? Because sometimes what happens is it's it 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 starts off at a more conservative setting that's actually going slower right. than than the number on the side of the box, basically. Okay, let's see what the box. Um, like it's probably only going like twenty six hundred or twenty four hundred right now. Uh, uh, so yeah. this is... They both seem high numbers. Yeah, so this yeah, but go, usually goes up to like three thousand. So yeah, that memory is is that memory thirty six hundred or thirty two hundred? Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah you definitely wanna you definitely wanna like change that. So uh, all you have to do is plug, plug in, a, in keyboard a keyboard and, mouse. and a mouse. Yeah. Actually, you can do it without a keyboard. I'm pretty sure with the arrow keys and enter button. But you mean without uh, a mouse? Well, then is now the time without a mouse. Oh yes. Yeah, yes. But it's probably easier with one. Yeah, the mouse might help. I've got an Apple, just, uh, got an Apple keyboard, and then I don't have to open this, because then she at least gets to open her, her keyboard. You're gonna Is try the Apple keyboard BIOS? wireless? Yeah, you're going to try to navigate a, a a PC BIOS with an Apple keyboard? You think that's maybe Apple will get mad at you. They, they won't like that. You think it's a bad idea? They'll well, make your just, trash can Mac even or slower. Just might not, or just might not work right. Hey, wait a second. What about this? <laughs> can I use a Bluetooth keyboard? No. What? Why not? I, what, how do you think you connect Bluetooth from the BIOS? I... Isn't it just built in? Damn it. Does it have a dongle? Yeah. Oh, if that's a dongle, then you can do it. That's a dongle. That's not Bluetooth, then. Is it not? Uh, it can it can be Bluetooth and have a dongle. Really? I. I figured like, it can be like both. Linux I don't know. Machine, so I'm assuming that, yeah. that that can't be more weird than that, right? If it's like a Logitech keyboard or something, it'll have its own proprietary oh, thing. It's like not a, Bluetooth. This is but... a this is a a Logic. Roger Crack. Does it have arrow keys? It has arrow keys and it has even a mouse pad. Yes. Wow. It's glorious. Okay, so what am I hitting? Well, first off, I got to try. Uh, you're you're hitting whatever key it says to hit to F11, go. Probably. probably. 
Yeah. I think I might have left it on. Wait a second. I have to love it or delete. Hmm. One of the two usually. I don't. may need to plug it in. All right. Hang on. It's a little. Uh, a oh, little, does that uh, not have? Does that not have F keys? It has, okay. Does it have F keys? Oh yeah, it's got tons of F keys. All the F keys you could possibly want. You got a you got a function to get the function. That's it. Function, function. All right. What's your F function? All right, here we go. Okay, I got this. I got this. I just need to power it. So if I, as long as one of these USBs has power, I should be okay. I think. They should be all powered. Yeah. So. All right. It's never simple with me. All right. Okay. So F1 to load setup. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Okay. F1. Here we go. F1. Come on, baby. Here we go. You logged in. There we go. F1. You can turn your uh, your your head your head wide off. Can I? Or do I just it's, want to dim it? Stuff? It's glaring off the monitor, Maybe so you won't be able to read it. That's my. I'm going no. J.J. Abrams. It's like a. It's like a cool movie. Uh, okay. F1. True. Lens flare, baby. Oh my gift! I just got a notification. My gift sub ends today. Uh oh! Look out! Uh, it's not running. I don't think Maybe they're. Could here. because of your tiny keyboard. Yeah. Did you plug that dongle in all the way? Maybe you should try the Mac keyboard. Oh, fine. Yes. I mean, David, you have a keyboard there. Yeah, but then I have to unplug it. It's plugged into like 50 different things. No, I mean, you have a keyboard in a box. I know, but I just thought she might want to open that. All right, okay. fine. Well, I tried, didn't I, right? Everyone saw me try. Yeah. Now you got to open the fancy keyboard. I'm just wondering if maybe it's been because I set it up for the Linux. It might not be. It may be set up on something different. Hang on a sec. Uh, I go, oh. F1 should still be F1 even. I know you think, wouldn't you? <laughs> you think they wouldn't change that? <laughs> they did. I'm pretty they sure that I'm doesn't sure they change. Didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's are you, like, it's are you like holding on FN on or okay, did you right, press okay. FN? All right, well, I tried continue? to be nice and now I now it sucks. Okay, so uh, all there. right, I have to open it, but I'll open it really carefully so that she won't even notice it's being opened. But she's so thrilled, this. she doesn't have to deal with this. Anyways, I'll have recorded this whole thing so she'll be able to see the entire thing and it's like she was there. Okay. There we go. I'm putting this. This is the uh, Huntsman, Razor Huntsman. I thought because she had limited space, even though Lord Chunky thinks it was a mistake, uh, limited space, I thought um, I should get her a small keyboard. And this is tiny. It is I don't think it's a mistake, but necessarily. Like just but I find the log and then delete and stuff just annoying for certain things. Oh, no way. Is it a <gasps> modular keyboard? Oh, wow. Is it USB C? baby. Come on. It's not much bigger than the little one that I got. Look at it. True. That is the cutest little keyboard. Um, and it's got unicorn vomit, so it's, it is. Ooh, yay, oh, yeah. unicorn vomit. You know it. You know, I know Lord Chunky always says, when in doubt, if you don't have money to spend, spend it on unicorn vomit. He says that every time. I, yes. He exactly. really doesn't. He's like so opposed to unicorn vomit because he's like, you can spend the money on better components. I think I spent well, time you want to spend money on unicorn vomit? If you're spending like a decent amount of money on a computer, like. Two thousand dollars. You want yeah. to put some of that money towards unicorn vomit, maybe. Right. I mean, but if you, you only have like a thousand dollars to spend, then I would definitely not do unicorn vomit. Right. What is unicorn vomit? Oh, sorry. That's what. Uh, Lord Very Trump... colorful lights. Yeah, that's what. It's he what calls. that. It's what that. Uh, it's what the memory is doing on the computer right now. See that fancy? The fancy lights. Oh. Uh... Yeah. That's unicorn vomit. It's unnecessary. Entirely unnecessary. Designed purely, probably by marketing folks. Uh, look, even the cable is beautiful on this. This is a nice little keyboard, i got to say. Um, okay, oh, so this is nice. going in here. Uh, oh. It's all braided. What the hell is that? Let's see. That's a big cable. That's a little cable. Perfect. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, and by little cable, I mean USB-C or whatever it is. Um, I get my USBs mixed up a lot, too. I discovered it's getting very confusing with all these different USBs and lightning bolts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, all right, so I'm plugging in here, another one, <laughs> only without the cover on it. That's not going to go in that yes. way. Yes. That's the way to go. Oh, do you see that light up? Look at this. Oh, it's too bright. It's too light, but we'll wait. Yeah, it's too, it's too, it's too bright. It's way too no. bright. Yeah. A little bit, but not. How's that? Uh, better? 
Wait, Come on, look at that. Oh wow, that is uh That is uh yeah. That's pretty great. It just looks like a blob of light right now. Whatever you do, don't knock the monitor over. Yeah, that's true. I almost did that. Okay, so I'm pressing F. I don't have an F key. <laughs> you do. You get function and then the function, the number. Yes. Oh, look at that. Actually, that's kind of cool. Look, they're they're labeled underneath, so you can actually see. Oh, you can't really see that, but they're actually labeled on, on the underside here. Just kind of. Uh, you see that? Just up there. Um, so it's it's still a brilliant choice, Lord Chucky. Just so you know. F1 done. Ooh, oh, it is a little bit more graphical, I guess. Okay, so what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to look at our... Overclocking! You're going to need to pan <laughs> over the... Uh, it doesn't have... The, the... We need to see the rest of the screen, David. Oh, do you? You don't see it? Yeah. So well, actually, you can probably just break down memory. He could be a rest. DJ with a hat That's and true. phone. It is very DJ-like, it's true. Uh, I wonder if I do this, would you be able to see it better? No. Uh, with the with the yeah with that camera. I'm trying to, but it's very far away, and I don't want to knock anything over. Okay, uh, I'll that's true. that. David, I would just go straight to memory. That's what I'm thinking. Except that here's where the question I have for it's you. Gonna be. Yep. How am I going to do that with no um, arrow, arrow keys on the key? You don't uh, have arrow keys. Tab. Wait, can we use ASDF? Tab. Oh, tab you don't have board. arrow keys. That keyboard has arrow keys. It doesn't. It's got to have arrow keys. Oh, it what? Okay, before I was thinking be met, it's fine. But without arrow keys, oh, you have to use function. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that is Wait annoying. a minute. Maybe this isn't the keyboard for her. Maybe we should change it. Maybe we should send this back. I'll take it. Page up, page down, left. Well, these, would that do it? Let's see if, let's see if this works. Uh, nope, function. Shoop. Uh, function, function, function. Okay. Ah, there you go. Okay, memory? Yeah. 21, yep. 33, come on. 21, oh, that. It's supposed to be now, see those, 600. Oh, they do call it, they do call it XMP on this board. So see how it says uh, XMP profile one and two? You want to yep. probably enable two, that's probably the faster one. Yep. It looks like the timing's the same. 16, 19, 19, Yeah, they're both 3600. 30, yeah, they both look the same. But it says the curl, current DRAM frequency is 2133. Correct. Now, if you don't see any place to change anything there, you might have to go into like overclocking options or something. Really? Yeah, just go to XMP profile one or whatever, and then you could probably. It might take a reset to do it. I don't have any options. Unless I press the wrong key, which is possible. Oh, oh. No, I don't see I have any choice to change anything there. Maybe this is just the. Maybe this is just the what? This, maybe this is I think that's just info. Yeah, I'm not what sure. What you're Yeah. Over one foot. Uh, LAN option, CSML, HCI, ERP, HC audio, favorites, and flash. I don't see a lot of. See a lot of options here. No. Would be a way to tweak it. Uh, you know what? Part of the problem might be is that the uh, the monitor is a little bit. The monitor is not showing the full screen. Which I'm not sure how to do on this one. Oh, you know, that's true. Where is it not showing? Like this uh, it's, all this stuff it's, not, it's not, it's not, it's, uh, it's doing the underscan thing. Um, uh, I'm trying to find a David, way. if you have the remote for the TV, you got to switch its input. There's no remote. Uh, it wouldn't be that There's easy. no remote? No. Who needs a remote, for God's sake? Is that, t is the TV so old it doesn't have a remote? Yeah. <laughs> it's really old. <laughs> Uh, that's the monitor. What does that do? Menu. Me menu. Okay, menu. Where do they want to go up and down? How do I do that? Uh, picture. There you go. Uh, then what do I hit? Enter. Which, which one's enter? This one? It's going to be like an overscan mode or something. Size? Yeah. Whoa. Don't lean on it. Really bad idea. Mm -hmm. Really should not lean on it. This way. Oh, for God's sake. You had it. Uh, yeah, right there. Yep. Dynamic? No, change it. It's very hard to figure this out. Okay, where's it going there? Dynamic. Uh-huh. Oh, for God's sake. One more. Dynamic? Come on. Nope. One That's more. Oh, there we go. Keep going. Now I need to go down a bit. I can't see. There you go. 
Now you want to change it. I don't know. The buttons are hard to see. So you go there, go to here. Nope. Oh my god, why won't you let me do this? How about this? Gotta be one of those buttons. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna hit this. Oh. It's kind of one of these, right? I mean, it's not. None of them are changing it. None of them are changing it. Hit the same button that you hit to get there. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's not letting me do the load. No, I mean, like, what happens if you hit the button to go into that menu to select yep. the different one, but then All you right. just hit the same button again? I select it. I select it again. It goes out. It bounces out. Oh, it goes back. Yeah. Okay. Oops. And then exits. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. HDMI. So that one's going to take me that way. This. Here we go. Nope. Fudge. Okay. That. That's the HDMI. It's fine with that. Change that for God's sake. Input? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Are you overclocking it? That looks like an overclocking menu. Doesn't it? We're not there yet. Yeah, first off, I'm going to uh, get I thought that was like an overclocking menu or something. Oh, this is so frustrating. I thought you were immediately overclocking it. Alright, picture. No. I'm going to there. It's not too there. much of a point in overclocking with the stock cooler. You could probably get some out ah, of it, but not... Standard movie custom. It's not making a difference. I need to change Enough. something else. Enough. Uh, what else could it be? Setup, maybe? Or contrast, color? Yeah, keep going further down on the other menus. You might have needed to just change that from HDMI to PC mode on that other screen you had up like a minute ago. Mm -hmm. okay, What's this doing? Okay, I got it. Okay, you're gonna exit out again. Go there. Go there. Go there. Picture. There's no real choices there. Blue screen, picture, picture, DNA demo, digital NR. None of those. 16 by 9. Could that be the thing? Yeah, mess with that one. There might be like a fit mode instead of a 16 by 9 mode or something. Okay, let's go there. Okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to there. I'm going to go to there. Okay, and I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to go down. Yeah. How about this, David? We're going to... We're going to use ESP to figure out what's supposed to be up there. Hang on, I think this is... And I'm just going to assume that it says the standard there thing up there. We got it. Hang on. Oh, you got it? I think I got it now. Uh, four by three? A little better? Nope. Nope. So that's our only choices, are those two. That... No. Well, then it's just going to it's just going to cut it off no matter what we do. Okay, never mind then. Anyway, uh, so go to your keyboard and hit F7. Da, 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 da. All right, F7, coming up on my glowy F7. keyboard of joy. Here we go. F7. Trying you are now in advanced mode. Oh, oh, pro series for nice. games. God, that's so frustrating. Okay, so we'll go to settings. Is that right? Or Yes? Settings. Ooh, okay. Go. Might be under overclocking, or it might be under uh, memory. I've got system status, advanced boot, security, save, and exit. Hold on, um, my stream Probably. is uh, my stream has stopped updating. Probably Come on. system uh -oh. setting. Try advanced first, I would say, before system settings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Um, PCI subsystem settings, ACPI settings, integrated peripherals, USB, uh, Super IO. Go to the bottom one. AMD overclock? Yeah. Maybe something. Let's try AM, oops, AMD overclocking. Done. Warning. Damage caused by... Am I accepting? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. Yeah, about that. Okay. DDR, infinity fabric frequency timings. Huh? Infinity fabric. Uh, yeah. No, we're not... Are we not doing that? Well, Wait, no, we're not messing with Infinity Fabric. We're trying to do right. memory. But that's well, they're both timing. tied together on AMD. I think they're the so Are they? It, oh. Yeah. DDR is the memory. DDR frequency and timings, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Out of curiosity, what oh, the hell is Infinity Fabric frequency? It sounds like a... That's... So... 
Oh, that's, yeah, the, that's just how the, the parts of the CPU communicate with each other and with the memory. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's that top option? I can't see it's washed out. Uh, DRAM timing configuration. Yes. Not only the timing. Well, it might be in there. We could just look. Oops. I can't do that. I need to go like this. How do I make this a cinematic adventure for everybody and still see what's going on? What the hell was that? Okay. All right. All right. What? DRAM timing? One second. Or DRAM control. Yeah, just go in, the, go in there and see. Go in there and see what's in there. I need to get back to base. Overclock. Overclock sure. is set on auto right now. Uh, see what the options are. Enable or auto. It's not very descriptive. All right, go back. No, nothing after don't, enable. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, just mm -hmm. escape. Okay, DRAM controller configuration. Then. Yeah, try there. Let's try that. They're gonna be Wait, simpler than this to enable XMP. Command T, two T. Two, please. Or gear down mode. I am. I'm running back to my home. What oh, is the top out, we'll option? Pop, we're hearing you. Oh, sorry. My mom came in. I oh, no completely so forgot I had so the mic know. on. All right. You've got to get going. I forgot I had my mic down because uh, I, I have a oh, man, wireless man. one. Sorry. I will. No worries. Try to remember okay. to do that next time. What's your top option there, David? I think or what was it? DRAM timing configuration. It's got to be that, right? No, 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 no. It's... No, no, no. no? Okay. Let's go, go like back. Maybe it was in like a different section. Uh, so oh, not yeah, infinity fabric. Yeah, frequency keep going and back. Mm, probably not there. None of those. Manual Did, CPU. Go look, at, look in the manual CPU overclocking one. Okay. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manual CPU overclocking, yep. CPU frequency, CPU voltage, and CPU core count control. None of that is what we're after. Hold on. This, this, this has got to be... Why is this so hard to find? Usually it's easy to find. Hold on. And you don't think it's going to be... It's just going to be setting it to enable? Maybe configuration comes up after you've enabled it. The DDR. Because uh... in here we had DDR frequency and timings. And then would it even be in advanced mode? Uh, or... Controller configuration? Oh. He's already in advanced mode. Uh, yeah, I go know, back into like... go back into the controller config, and then what was the top line once you went in there? Into controller config? Into sorry, into I'm gonna I'm backing right out. Into the DDR and Infinity Fabric frequency timings thing. Yes. Going to there. I'm going to DDR frequency and timings or Infinity Fabric frequency and dividers. Top one. Got it. We got DRAM timing configuration. Okay, go to the second one. DRAM controller configuration. Yeah. All right. Let me just find the arrow. Here we go. And let's up. Nope, same thing. We've, I think we've been here before. It's command 2T or gear down mode. Both okay, but auto. what is the top one that's highlighted right now? That's DRAM power options. Do I have uh, options? Let's see if uh, we can go to. Yeah, these are just... So select between 1T or 2T mode on A, D, D, R, and Command. It's probably not going to be it, but go into the top one for a second. Command 2T? No, the top one. That is the top one. No, it's not. Up one more. You can't go anywhere. That's as high as it goes. No. Nope. You you oh, you it's can't, delayed. You can't hit Enter on DRAM power options? No. Oh, you can. But that's what I've just done, isn't it? Power down enable. Auto. Okay, it's no, yeah, we're not worried about that. Okay, uh, so you see how on the left there, not in any of that text you're looking at, how you have settings highlighted? Yeah. We, we want to go into overclocking settings, which All is right. the next one down. I have to go eat. You go, go and eat. Baz needs to order some food. Like, uh, like, like hit tab or something, or hit left. All right, let's see if I can do what happens if you hit left? I think once Bye. I exit out enough, I should see you, buddy. Okay. Yeah, now, now move up and down. All right, there you go. With so the arrows. Overclocking. Right there here. you go. Okay. That one. Woohoo! Lots of stuff. DRAM okay. frequency. Now we're cooking. All right. Um, All right. Like? DRAM settings. You oh, have a XMP. Okay. AXMP. Yeah. A dash XMP. You got it. And, All right, and what does this one do again? 
it you're going to change it to one of those profiles so that it's, okay. the RAM is running at the higher frequency. Got it. Okay. And they were both set to the same, I believe. So. Yeah, profile one should be fine. Profile one. So there you go. So profile one, DDR. Uh, so profile one says DDR4, 3600 megahertz, and yep. profile two is the same. Yep. All right. So now do I need to save anything? Uh, try to hit uh, F10, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Disabled profile one. Save, save configuration and exit. Why does it say disabled profile profile one? We want it enabled. It went from disabled to profile one. Ah, very good. You, Perfect. Yeah. That makes much more sense. It's so, a bit cryptic though, isn't it? That's true. It's one of those things you just gotta know. All right. Unfortunately. Nice. Yes. All right. So now when this just boots like up, just like how F10 is the save and exit hotkey. Right. Right. Like why would you? It would it would have shown you that on the screen, but I think it's cut off on the bottom. Just to remind everyone that I'm still here, even though I was behind the boxes. Here we go. It's just we can navigate a computer BIOS even with uh, the blind. overscan cut off. We're going blind with it. All right, what do you got? Searching for signals. Come on, signals. So hopefully it does boot with XMP mode enabled. Oh. Okay, that's promising. Yeah. All right. Insert boot media and select a boot media device and press a key. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Yep. That's it. So all they have to do is put Shirt all, window stick. All noodles yep. need to do is put a window stick in here. That's it. It'll take me just a little while to find that because God knows where I put it. But once I found it, it'll you be can get her own too. You just go you on Microsoft make... website and download yeah, you can make on one. any USB stick. Oh, really? Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's how I have one. I my... Oh, and then you just yeah, use it. It just got to non... be. It. It just has to be eight gig or larger. Oh, okay. All right. I got tons of those. So any USB. Oh. Make sure you format the USB stick first too. I will. I will. I just probably just give the, it a um, little easier. The the uh, Microsoft like. USB tool will do all that for you. Okay. Like when you go to, if you just like Google, you know, download Windows installer, like right. it'll take you to that page and then there's a a tool right from Microsoft that's like, the, it automatically formats the USB drive and does all the yeah. stuff And for you. you can actually use the free Windows. I used the free Windows for almost a year before I got around really? to buying the actual and Windows. Then what, and then why did you cave eventually? There's just a watermark in the bottom right that's just always there. You caved just yeah. because you were sick of the watermark? Yeah. All right. Well, That's there are places important. like well, you, can around and... you, you can't change your background, so yeah. a couple of things. I think but you all... can get you can get Windows uh, like Windows 10 licenses for like at a discount. You just got to look around online and find. Yeah, it's hard. I... You can look. I when I was looking there's for a lot of really shady there's Windows a bunch of them that are really cheap, but I feel like it's kind of sketchy. Like, yeah, there's definitely some seriously. It's sketchy. probably like some person selling the same key ten times, but I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean there, there's. There's probably some of that, but there are like, you know, actual key resellers that what do you pay for, are, like, are what, somewhat legitimate. What's a good price for Windows now? Well, I've seen it keys. Can be ridiculously expensive. It's I've seen Windows 10 bucks. keys like on the on the reseller sites. I've seen them go for like thirty or forty bucks or something. Well, there you go. Modified has a bunch of Windows 10 Pro keys if you need one. Wait a sec. That sounds really dodgy, Modified. Ten pounds. Jonathan MLH paid ten pounds. That's like twenty bucks. Um, I don't rate. even think ninety nine USD is the standard price anymore. I think it's one fifty or something. Yeah, it was. It was quite. I was. It was quite. Well, that's like that's like direct from Microsoft with like a a retail copy, mm -hmm. as opposed to like an you know like an OEM key or whatever you would get from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. So my I, next question is: I think we should look at the case OEM. just to see where the what case would connect. What do you want to do? What? Let's just look at the case and see if there's any questions about that. Because even though we're not going to put everything in the case, right. I think it'd be good. Well, to... the sure. hardest part for her is going to be the front panel connectors. I think that's right. Which mostly just, just the, the hardest right, part. The right jumpers for that. That's why I thought I'd pull it out. We could have a look. It, well, it already comes with the right jumpers. Just where you plug them in. So all she needs to do is look at the instructions and it tells you what to do. Dave, David knows exactly where the power jumper goes now. I know exactly where it goes on the one. Yes. On the the, the yeah. first two of the four on the ones that are oh. facing me, depending on which way I spun the thing. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to shut this down then. Yes. Do I have to worry about how do I shut it down then? Is there, no, because nothing. I going. would do it just by the switch on the power supply. Just kill the power. Okay. Because I think yep. what I'll do is I'll bring up the I'll bring up the. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that, and the LEDs slowly fade. Um, 
I think what I'll do is I'll bring up the case so we can have a look at it and just see if there's any sort of gotchas, right? Well, probably best you keep it in the box for her, no? Well, that too late. I already took it. <laughs> we did All this right. on the other stream. So that's a that's a mighty fancy soldering iron you got back there, dude. Isn't it nice? It's a little soldering station. Oh my god. It's yeah. Like a lifesaver. I love it. Um. Oh, you want to peel off the plastic for her? No, don't peel. The... That is evil. That is the, the evil best. Lord Monkey. It's the best part of building the computer. I know. That's why she needs to be able to do it. I'll come over there. I'll give you five dollars for me to do it. Five bucks? Yeah. Make it five hundred. Now we're talking. No. Um, five. Take it or leave it. Uh, <laughs> five bucks and a Windows installer. Oh, and a Windows installer? And then yeah. you get to take the plastic off? Yeah. Uh, what's it? You and then you've got the five bucks. Aha! COVID. So just a Windows installer. It's COVID. You're not allowed. All right, what did you put on the porch? I just peel it off. I just want to see. If and put any, a Windows it's... key in your mailbox. Uh, you know that. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it out on the on the front porch so you can just take the. Uh, take the. Yeah, peel, take, take, plastic take the plastic off. off. Yeah. Um, okay, I just want to just have a quick look in here and see what we need. Okay, so. No idea what that is. Are these power cables? Are these no? These are just going to be. Okay, so can you see? That's you for the see, fan. Can you, can you hang on a second? Oh, that's for the uh, front panel audio. Ah. And there's also, um, yeah, it's probably just USB. I see, yeah, it's the blue in the back right there. The, the USB one is going to be a beefier one. It's not going to be the... It's the like really head. blue and chunky, so... Yeah. All right. So, blue and chunky, that seems that seems blue and chunky to me. That, yeah, that's yeah. USB 3. Okay, so that's going to the USB... Which is right next to the thing you hotwired. Okay, I'm looking. Okay. Yeah, you don't even need... Don't bother plugging it in. Just gonna unplug it. Got it. Okay, no, just so I can see it. Okay, so that's good. That makes sense. Then I've yep. got this one that is labeled nothing. Should be uh, audio. HD audio. You've done this before, Alan. Okay. Not once or twice. Audio. So that's pretty obvious. Is there anything else? I guess a bunch of fans. Um. Yeah. Fan. Big fan headers. But they want them all. The what are they do with these? They're all and there's power the for some reason. Okay. Let me set up. Sometimes multiple USBs. What was that? Well, there there's two USBs off of that single connector. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah, usually, so usually cases only have two USB threes. So, oh, he's pulling the back too. I'm pulling the back, but I can't figure out. I like why. the way that case looks. It's nice. It's a really nice case, I gotta say. Why is it not coming out? So I think there's like three fans in the front of that guy, right? Yep. Uh, the question is, are they all like on their own cable, this, or so are I'm they three individual out, course, plugs? With this cover on, I can't... They should be on their own, like, you know, oh, I've done it. harness okay. or something. Let me flip this around so we can see what's going on. Okay. So, they're connected, but I couldn't get to the end of them, because I think they've been carefully packaged away behind this wall of so, beautiful... Ugh. That screw is going to come all the way out, probably. Which one? Oh. No, no, is they're actually they're cool. They're, like, non-lose them. Yeah, they're captured. They're great. Okay. I love them. Mm -hmm. Which are fantastic because the rest of them are in my pocket because otherwise I'll forget. Okay, yep. so looking in here, I'm going to undo my graphics card so we can spin it. And now I can spin it. Nope, because I've got power still attached. So I'm going to take that out too. I'm going to also unplug that because I have a nasty tendency of spilling coffees on them. Um, okay. All right. So. No. If you're just trying to clear the table, you should just be able to grab the power supply and the motherboard box at the same time now. Yes. But I think it's... Well... You can see. You can see it under there. All yeah. right. So, I've got a bunch of connections. Look at the, the look at the integrated cable ties. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so, that's so, that, so that is a SATA power connector, which I was barely able to make out from you holding it briefly. That one here? Yeah, that is a SATA power connector. There is no Don't SATA there, but it's using no, no, it's using oh. that to power the fans. Oh, is it? Oh, it's using SATA to power the fans. Really? Yes. How do you know? And I guess there, it's like so. Is there like a fan hub in there? And there and there is a fan, there is a fan connector that you also were just holding, David. Mm -hmm. How many wires are going into that fan? Not the not the SATA power one, but the yeah. Oh, what do you got? I got four. So four pins. Okay. Yeah. So that's a four pin connector, but there's only one of them, or is there three? There's like a ton of them. One, there's a three pin. 
And there's but those are all like those are all like connected into each other, right? Yes, the rest of them are all connected in. There was something at the bottom here that is also connected in. Everything's sort of wired in, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, well, there's one more at the bottom. Another four one at the bottom. Uh, that's not plugged into something. It's not plugged in, yeah. Oh, and a two. Interesting. One. Oh, and a bunch. Of, what are all these? Holy moly! Uh, yeah, you're gonna want to look. You're gonna want to look at the manual for that. Yeah, because I got the RGBs as well. Oh, that's RGB. Oh, that, yeah, that's the RGB header. Okay. That's, so I'll need to plug those in too. That's the unit. Uh, for those well, ones. I don't know. Does that motherboard have an RGB header output? Mm -hmm. It might not. Probably does. It's MSI. For gamers, it has yeah. to have RGB. True, but it's just a B450 board. It might. It might not. I uh, don't see it. I don't see one. Either way, you never know. The case might have come with some controller or something to yeah. just make something look. happen. Well, there's, there's the, uh, the box is... Because if it has SATA power, that's clearly powering up something. There's probably some extra controller built into the case. Okay, like, it, it, might, it might light up the fans with some default pattern without even getting a signal from anything else. Right. Um, it's possible I've already put the manuals in my manual section. Yeah, actually, what case is that so I can look at the manual? It's a Fantec. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Let me just get this first. Because I may have exactly what we need here. Um, Did it not come with it? I don't. It may not have come with a. It may not have come with instructions. It may just want you to download stuff. Uh, it's a Fantec. Let me give you the number. Eclipse P400. Say that again. Eclipse P400. P400. This is so great. Someone else looks everything up. It's just so much easier, isn't it? You know. <laughs> Annual. User's manual. P400, not P400S? Nope, just P400. Okay. What does the S do? Now I want the S. I don't know. Something great, I'm sure. I bet you I can find out by looking in the manual. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, do me a favor. Can you send me the link to that too when you when you do find it? I uh, yeah. I will put it in the in the chat thingy. So this is saying motherboard DRGB three pin. Yeah, I don't see that configuration, but... Yeah, that's the RGB signal out. Mm. Uh, all right, so there's power LED. Uh, 12 volt input is the SATA power connector. Okay, that makes sense. I found the reset sense. switch. I know where that goes. Uh, do you? Isn't that it's the one It's different we just from did? the power switch. Isn't that the one we just The reset did? switch. No, the reset switch is in a different place than the power switch. Oh, okay. It's then a I'm different set the of pins. switch then. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I need to go for dinner now. Oh, but... man. Just when we were getting to the boring part. All right, have a good dinner. Which, what time right, is it? Thank you. Okay, so the P400S has extra fan control. What kind of fan control does it allow you to have? Like, uh, I think it just has an extra fan controller built in. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Let's see. There's fans. There's three fans. There's what? Is there well, three fans in the no front? Are there any fans in the top on that case They're... already or no? No, I don't think so. Is this just come on? No. But there are no. but there are three fans on the front. There are three fans in the front, and I don't see any LEDs in them, unless they're built into the... There might be LED shirts might just be built into the case. There might not be LED lit fans. Ah. I see. Or maybe they're in the, the hub. I don't know. We'll see. Right, okay. Um, uh, looking and looking and looking. Okay, so there's the audio connector. There's a USB three connector. Yep. There's the RGB LED uh, for interior lighting. Although mm -hmm. this makes it seem like the cable is there, but the lighting is not. Ah, which well, seems that's possible, right? Odd. So in other words, if you were to buy the extra, the extra vomit, the extra unicorn vomit, 
then you've got a place. Yeah, but I would have thought I would have thought that like why would you include the cable if not it's weird. I mean I have I'm sure I have controllers that I could get to. Yeah, LED run. color control. Okay, P4 and S has the three speed fan controller. So if that's not the S model, that probably means that those fans are just regular fans with regular fan headers. Hmm. Okay. Which they uh, should meaning, have. I mean, they'll, they'll, I'm sure they have regular. Well, if they're regular fan connectors, like just like what you had on the CPU fan. Hmm. So if you see like three of those connectors there, one for each fan, yeah. then. Uh, that may be the way we're going. Well, but I'm not sure there's three additional fan headers on that motherboard. Ah. Is the catch. Well, you can split them, though, can't you? Uh, not without a splitter. I'm sure I've got splitters. I've got so much crap hanging around. I don't know if you got fan splitters, fan header splitters. No, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. It's like the screw thing. Um, it is? All right. What board was that again? MSI B... Uh, MSI uh, B450 M Pro VDH Max. I don't think it has any LED action happening on it. No, I doubt it has an LED uh, driver. Oh, wait a sec. Ha, 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 ha. I think I found so it. So it's Pro, Pro, Pro VDH Max? JRGB. That's what I want, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, not a JRGB. I've got a DRGB three pin. Hmm. I've got B450M a four fifty M Pro what? Uh M two Max? VH VDH Max. Oh, okay. VDH Max. Go there. We will go to the support. We will go to the manual. Yeah, there's definitely something for, for RGB here, but it may not be. Why is this manual 177 pages? Because it's got, it may have unicorn vomit in it. There's a whole lot Maybe. of folklore and stuff. I'm looking, I'm looking. There's a 12 okay. and a 5 volt don't mix. Yeah, uh, good point, Fat. Fox. Yes. JRGB1, yes, it does have the connector. It does. But we don't know if the case has the lights because the instruction manual for the case is kind of making it sound like it, it doesn't have not. anything on the other end of that cable. I thought it did. When I ordered it, I thought I saw lights on it, although whether that means anything. It was a long time ago. Yeah. The manual is making it a bit cryptic, so it could very well have them. Right. Uh, it seems, now, as you say, it seems weird for the... Okay, but the problem is that this is... This is a three-in pin cable, and I only have... And I have a four pin. The cable from the case is three? Yeah, the RGB cable for the for the case is a three pin. So it's basically the That's... four pin with one of the pins blocked out. Ah. Uh, well that no, that might still work. I mean there's no way I to think one of them... get it onto the board is what I'm saying. Oh, you're saying like it, it intentionally like will not let you. Yeah, it's like it's got a special I don't know if you can actually you can see that close enough. Hold on, I'm looking at the I'm I'm looking at the um, manual for this thing to try to see if they're saying what kind of cable it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think this is uh, this may be what uh, Fat Docs was talking about. I think it was it Fat Docs? Is that who they said it right? No. JRGB. Um, what does it say for this cable here? Here, let me put some light on it. I mean, oh, in the good. manual, at least, the RGB LED cable looks to like, Not it looks Huzzah, as if it's a four-wire cable. Oh no, no, Hazza's got to go. Hazza's got to go. She's going to pull everything off the table. All right. No, good. We're good. It's up and running. We're just going through what to do with the um, uh, with the case, whether we should. It doesn't see much point in us putting it in the case and then having to pull it all out again and put right. it back in for her. Well, I just wanted to make sure that I knew that it fit? somewhat. I just want to make sure that I knew, and by that I mean Alan, knows that uh, how to do it. <laughs> so that when it comes to her building it, she'll be able to, you know, do the same. Cool. I think I'll get her, though, Alan, I might as well get her to build the same thing, like do the same thing as us. Build it on the box, and then move it to the case, knowing that everything's working properly. We already know. We already did that step, though. I know, but then she'll know it's working, and it's like just like procedure for her. 
and she doesn't oh, yeah. have to worry about screwing it up. Because my concern is that if she screws something up with the case, which is easy to do, I've discovered, uh, then she'll know that it was already working fine the way she had it set up. And also she'll learn the parts as well as she does it. Sure. Although I'm not taking the CPU off. Forget it. That Wraith is stuck down good. And I think the memory's uh, probably fine too. Yeah, so I'm looking at um, RGB LED. So the wire from the case that's mm. meant for the LEDs mm. should just say RGB LED strip on it with a little label. Yes. But it says, it says, it says, M B, I'm assuming motherboard, D uh -huh. RGB three pin. Okay, but there might be another connector. Like oh. you might not need not need to use that one. Oh, that's possible. I hadn't thought of that. Was like it could be right. Uh, although none of them are just flat like that. Oh, LED HD no HD LED no, it's not that one's different. Um, that's that's for the that's a different. Yeah, one. yeah, that's just to let us know what's going on. Uh, yeah. Right. What else have I got here? Nope, that's that. Um, all right. Well, we'll have to just I don't know, figure it out. I guess there's no. I don't see anything. Ah, what's that? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. No, nope, another three pin. Ah, uh, wait a second. So there's another three pin adapter, uh, another DRGB fan here. Wow, that is weird. Okay, I'll have to look at the manual too. It might be easier for me to look at the manual looking at the actual box itself. Um, yeah, the manual is not a lot of help. Is it not? On this one. Damn it. That's, it's not great. Um, those might just be fan connectors, just the regular fan connectors. Are those just three pin fan? No, they're definitely, they, de they say RGB on them. Like they're the okay. regular ones are, the, are just the ugly little plastic ones with the clips basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I think when it comes to that, I think I'll have a look. I'll have a look at the manual in comparison with this. Cause it might be easier to do the two together. Well, I guess I can just do it now. Couldn't I? Um, I'm just getting hungry. What time is it? <laughs> it's only 5.30. I can't be hungry yet. That's not allowed. All right. Let me do this then. Okay. Let's go over here and see. All right. You put the link in, right? Uh, which one? For the uh, manual? For the Fantex? Yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's on uh, page five. All right. Boy, they're pretty. Or correction, page ten, section five. All right. Will it click to it if I go? Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not a smart PDF, huh? No such luck. All right. I don't know. I don't think it's that smart. Connections. Okay. So. So is the audio. Power. I see. Okay. Power LED. Why is it called a power LED, the big one? That seems weird, doesn't it? No, that's the power. That's literally the power LED, like for when the system's on. Well, no, it's this big one here. The the SATA power connector? This thing here. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Hold on. Let me come back. It's panel. Uh, it's the panel, it says. Yeah, panel. Okay. Hold on. Let me look at what you're looking at. Yeah, the SATA one is this, is that nice little US, is the USB 3 one, isn't it? No, no, that's the wrong one, never mind. What is nope. there two of those? What's, where's that going? I've got, what is the, this? The one, the one that's blue is the USB 3. Yes. Yes, got that. Okay. Yeah. The one that's got, the one you're holding right now, or right. were, is the SATA power connector yes, right that's uh, labeled as, uh, well, that section is just called like power LED or whatever. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? That's not... It's oddly okay but there's also an rgb led strip yes i don't see that interesting i don't see that one but if you read the wording that's what's cryptic read the wording underneath that uh connects in the manual there antex multicolor led strip for interior lighting ph led kt m1 not included ah okay so we don't care about that yeah, it no sounds like neither splitter. Up to ten fans using Y slip splitters. Okay, that are not included. This is great. 
Huh. That is really odd. They're calling the, the SATA that you were talking about, they're calling yeah. that the panel. Yeah, so that it might have some lighting, hmm. but it might be generic lighting that just needs some power to light up. Right. Right. Now, in order to plug that in, you're going to have to use one of the cables that came with that modular power supply mm. that has the appropriate connector. Oh, right. Okay. To, to give that power. Just FYI, that's probably the only extra cable you're going to have to add to that power supply. Okay. Well, I got plenty, just to so feed I mean, that. Yeah. All right. Right. Okay. You don't have to do it right now, but just, you know, note to self. Yeah, I think right. what I'm going to do is I will document each one of these cables so that when it comes to her doing the build, I could say, what does it say? We can look at it and go, hey, there you go. Yeah. If you're still patient now, enough to be around for that. Now, now, about the fans, what I would say is, since you have everything open there on the case, mm -hmm. I would just look around, like walk around it the other way to where the fans are so you can see them from like the, out, the inside out. Right. You'll see wires coming off of the fans and yep. just kind of like follow them see where they're going are they tying together into something or are they just mm. kind of sticking out somewhere let me just put my headlight on brighter it seems to be getting a little low oh. on the headlight all right one so one two and what three what do i have four What's going on? Why do I have four cables coming out of there? Because this is not the model with the fan controller, but we don't know if that means that the fans are just not powered at all. Like they might mm. still be powered. Yeah, they're all these you know. cables. They're all these are all the cables. These little thin. Can you see them under? Can okay. See them little thin. Cables? Keep following. Let's go. There we go. Here we go. I'm pulling, 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 pulling. Uh -huh. Oh, those are these just are the connectors. Guys. Yeah, it's the three. The three connector. Yeah, they're connected. That's a fan connector. That's a three-pin fan connector then. Uh, okay. I don't know. What it says RGB at. fan, but maybe that's just because the fan has RGB lights on it, but that's the. But all of that's... our fan adapters have four cables. You don't have to use the four. If you can plug a three pin fan connector into a four pin. Not the way this is configured. Oh, I need to see what it looks like is the problem. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Let me. Enhance, enhance. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's RGB. Right. But what else is that? Is that it? That's the only connector on the end of that cable? Like, there there has to be other cables coming from the fans. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, some of yeah, the yeah. fans are getting... Ah, wait a sec. Maybe that's what the fourth... So that's what the fourth cable is. The fourth cable is the RGB. The three cables are the power, which are just the regular ones like this. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. So there's a... Yeah, that's a regular four-pin fan header. Yeah, so yeah. that's what's coming okay. off them all. So they all have regular headers plus an RGB um, as well. And all right, the RGB so here's, just has uh, no plug-in right now. So here's the rub. I'm also looking at the uh, manual for that motherboard. And the motherboard only has two extra fan headers on it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me see if I've well, got... It's not the end of the world. You can plug two out of the three fans in. That's not... Right. You know. Um, as I say, I have got so many cables. In fact, I even have some... I'll have a look. All right, I'll do a little hunt for that stuff. Um, so there is a system fan one and system fan two header on that board. Right. Um... System fan two is further down from the USB three connector. It's on that same edge. But system fan one is actually kind of in between the CPU and the graphics slot, but towards you. Yep, see it. I got system see fan it? one just here. If you can see it from above, right in there. Uh, I'll yeah. This again. Yeah, that's fan one. Fan two is uh the bottom. There. Next to the uh, front panel audio connector. System fan two, right there. There you go. Yeah. And then this is what's frustrating is because there's obviously an RGB. I wonder if we need some kind of an adapter to adapt whatever the. Uh, well, that's a JRGB connector, is the yeah. thing, which is different. Um, but I wonder if there's maybe there's a way there's like some kind of an adapter we can get that would allow us to change that. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't mess with the unicorn vomit that much. I know. That's me. The <laughs> unicorn vomit is all new to me too, basically, right? The only unicorn vomit we put in ours was uh, I put a couple of additional LED strips in. That was all. Um, yeah. So the so the JRGB connector is meant for an LED strip, right. but that does not seem to be the same as what is meant for that wire. Mm, very good. I have a ton. But of but again, but again, I don't, I, I don't get it because in the manual for the case. Like they're showing that connector, but then they're like not included, not included. Like so, what? So John, maybe let you maybe say it's the motherboard is analog RGB, and the case is digital RGB. I have a suspicion the case lighting is just going to turn on anyway. Yeah, me too. You just you just won't be able to control it from the motherboard. <laughs> I prefer it when he talks about Raspberry Pi instead of vomit. Um, yes, good point. Um, all right, so. Okay, well, yeah, I think we'll just, is, this, is there any way just to plug in, can I just plug in the case a little bit? A little bit of plug? Yeah, in? you can get the, um, you're going to need a SATA power cable out of the um, power supply box. Okay, which is over here. It also came with something else too, didn't it? There's a SATA cable for something else. This little baby right here. With a USB connector. Is that? No, that's not it. Those are SATA cables. Are they? Not power. But Those not are SATA power. data cables. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, what do I got here? I think you. Yeah, there you go. I think that's your power supply stuff, right? I wonder if I have any extra ones. I might have an extra cable here, anyways. Wait a second. Um, God, I don't think any of those are SATA. No, that is on the side, right? We said that was a separate one. I knew it was All right. Yeah. Let me do this. Come on, magic knife. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This is good because I can actually have this on there too for. Um, where are my attachments? Is that. Give me a second. One of them is going to plug into the power supply. Yeah, but I'm trying to find the right. I don't think that's it. That's Molex. Yeah, that's the wrong. Is that four pins? Yeah. On those? Oh, yeah, it's Molex. That's not helping me either. And is that? It's gonna be the last one. Are they all? It's gotta be one of them. What do you think? Uh, yes. Is that? Yeah, that one? one. I guess it's that one. Is there an L? To tell me which ones to go. Ah, there you go. So the L will tell me which way to put it in the right way. All right, good. Is there a better? Are they both exactly the same? Is there one that only has one? No. Not usually. Okay, and it's plugging into one of those, so I just need that. All right. This so all this modular stuff. There's still lots of extra cable. There's no way to like pull out some of the cables. Like you can't slice and dice it somehow. Uh, you could, but you need special. Well, you don't need special tools, but. So I would take this, I would plug this into my SATA Molex. Can we see that at all? Let's sort of see what's going on there. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna plug this in over here. There we go. And then I'm gonna plug that in over here. Nope, not that one, this one. With a nice L that tells me which way to put it. Can anyone, can everyone see that, sort of? Not really really hard this is black on black i know it really isn't it if only we had a light that light is getting really dim <laughs> your headlamp is dying my headlamp's dying so am i though I, i'm getting i'm getting that low food i'm getting that mckay i'm feeling mckay i start feeling oh, McKay, dear. means i'm hungry all right that is attached we're doing sushi tonight too which i'm really excited about okay so that's that's plugged in. That is. You could the... take like, you could take like one of the fans if there if there's enough length on the cable, you could plug that into the motherboard. <laughs> Just for the sake of seeing one of the fans spin. Yeah, good luck. I know, right? Some of them have to be longer than that. I'm thinking they must be, right? Uh, down here, here we go. What's this little baby right here? Is this a fan? Come on, tell me you're a fan. Everyone's a fan. Uh, nope, those aren't fans. Uh, here. Seriously? 
they're all way up there. Are they all that short? They're all like bunched up up here. You know what? Maybe they're just. Maybe I need to undo the Velcro, Alan. Uh, I mean, maybe. You think? You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, That's okay. fine. So there's, there's a fan that is very short. That is another very short fan. These are got. Oh look, there's yeah. a fan. That's a, there's a splitter. What? There's a splitter. Oh. Okay. That's splitter. All right. The, uh, so there is a splitter. So all the fans are plugged into this. So there should so the vendor just should be one fan, like four pin fan connector. What the heck? I mean, yeah, you think? Right? Yeah, that's. I don't. I don't Coming see, off of that splitter. I don't see it. Oh, what's that right there? Is it maybe this one? Oh. Okay, I've got one. Yes, I've got one coming off here right now. And no, dude, you can pull it out from oh, underneath two. the. How two. Many? They're both the same. Okay, all right. Let me just get rid of this. It doesn't make sense. You shouldn't have multiple because I'm looking right at that, that harness and it's got like multiple fan connector. Unless unless each one of those is just an extension. Well, that's what I'm... I'm if I'm going to undo it all so I can just see all the cables because this is getting... Yeah. This is getting nuts. We're, we're, I'm like guessing. and Oh, look at that. Now this my cable management nightmare begins. Okay, so I've got okay. one, two... RGB thing stuck together for some reason. I guess that's the. Okay, so this, so this is the. These are the. I'm guessing the three RGBs stuck together here. Okay, so, so that's RGB. what is splitting off to the three fans from one connector. Got it. Now there's going to be three other wires, which are the actual ones that are powering the fans, not yeah. the RGBs on the fans. One. Two. Be the same. Yep. Two and. You should have three of the same. Yeah. Is that it? Is that the third one? Is that and they favorite? should look like four pin fan connectors, basically. I'm looking. Man, what a mess. I really is. I've already made a mess of it. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Nope. I got two. I can't find the third. Where's the third? Was this guy? Nope. Oh, weird. Well, then maybe this, maybe that split somewhere. One. It might. One. Two. Okay, and all the rest are RGB stuff. It seems to. Be. How does this? How does this yeah, it looks like it. it looks like maybe there's a splitter built in, and there's only two. What is this guy? Well, it looks like one of them is. Well, I'll tell you what, two. David. There's one way to find out. Plug him in. <laughs> I got it. Plug those two in. It's tucked back. Oh, here. you got three. Okay, I got three. Okay. One of them is just really short compared to the other ones. I guess it's probably because for a it's. It's well, it's probably because it's the one that's all the way on the bottom. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be easy to get to them. Of course, once they're in the case. Okay, you're. Well, back. you might depending on where the motherboard is sitting relative to where your connectors are and where the those cables have to reach. You might have to just completely unroute them from how the the case maker has has routed them. Yeah. You know, because you might not even go through the back because the the headers are on the front anyway. So you might just have to like go straight to it. Well, I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna plug in our system fans. Is that right? I just found the key I knocked off my keyboard because nice. I accidentally knocked off the key and i didn't know where it went i knew it hit my chair but it was legit it was right in the crack of my chair how do people do that I, bass is always leaving losing keys from keyboards okay there's that and what did we say the other I, was? it was far uh too far away it's on your right towards you yeah that's might not reach not you're gonna right. have to yeah i couldn't it. find it and i was i got very scared i'm like where is it i don't think it's worth let me see no not gonna, not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. Look at my cable management already. It's already a nightmare. Can I reach it? Oh, I can't. No, can't quite. How about this one? System fan two. Let's just go with this one. All right. Okay. So I've got two of those plugged in. Every okay. cable known to man hanging over the edge. Okay. Right. Make sure none of them are sticking in any fans. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm a wee bit worried about. Okay, so that's plugged in. That's plugged in my safe. How's side. the computer coming in? Oh, great. <laughs> Just doing the cable management. Alan's making a big mess of it, though. 
I am. I am. Oh, you finished it up, but now you just need to try to figure out how to get it in. We're just looking at all the cables, all the joyful cable bliss that comes with this, with this case. This is, I've got to say, probably my most hated part because I'm always like, I don't care about the cable stuff, but you know, I guess we have to. Uh, if I do that, how does this work? Will that hold it out of the way if I just do like this? That'll hold it out of the way. Okay, that's out of the way. That's out of the way. That's out of the way. That is totally not out of the way. That's out of the way. That's... Okay. GPU fans clear? Yeah. Let's make sure the GPU is still in its slot. Everything's there. Okay. Yep. Wish me luck. You got to plug your power supply back I'm in. I'm going to do that. Uh, we're not worried about <laughs> booting up, so I don't need the, the, I don't need the HDMI. Right. Yeah, we just want to see the stuff light up. We just want to see the unicorn vine, if there is any. Yeah. I have a new oh. thing that we should chat about here. Okay. Not Making I... money through games like Rust. You can make money? Because in this game, you can find skins. Yeah. And you can pay them, and then you can sell it on Steam for people to buy those skins. That's cool. Wait a second. Should I put the... Why don't I put the power button, attach the power button, and test that, too, while I'm at it? I'll reach. Well, do you think it'll reach you? That's true. Might not reach. If not, then you have to be old school. Yeah, I know how to do it now. Kick it at old school. What's this one? Reset? Nope. Uh, what's this one here? It's, it's a pretty good cable. Pretty, so, okay. Gotta be one of them. Power SW, which I'm guessing is switch, and yep. HD. Do, 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 I'm looking. Power switch and H. Oh, and the hard drive LED. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's the light, right? Um, where are you? Where are you looking? Oh, just on the. It's written on the. Oh, they were both together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You only need the power switch one though. Yeah, but what? Um, so it's just jumper. It's, it's just... the same place where you put the screwdriver. Right. Same two pins. Okay. I'm just gonna do this here. Oh god, I can't. I need my light's gone dead and I can't see a freaking thing. All right, I'm going blind here. Okay. So power switch is going on those two right there. Is that right? I got that. Okay. All right. Actually, I'm going to put, just because the HD one's hanging in the way, I'm going to do that too. All right. All lined up. Okay. All right. So technically at this point, I should be able to press the power button and uh -huh. this should leap into life. Fingers crossed. With vim and vigor. All right, what's a good angle on it? And then I wanted to see an angle, a good angle for if it did, catches fire. Did you turn Did you turn the power switch back on on the power supply when you plugged it back in? Good question. Probably not, because I don't see a light on it. There, it's on now. Okay. Okay. Nothing has happened. So I'm now going to press the power sw, as they say on the motherboard. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. Unicorn vomit. Oh my god. Then there is two pretty. Out, and two out of three fans are spinning, as expected. Right. Look. Why is the last one not spinning? Why is it? There's only there's only two more fan hitters on the motherboard. What's going on with these guys here? Why is like one spinning and then not the other one? It, like, uh, started it's not. Stopped. Yeah, they did. They, they do. That's normal. Okay, so they don't. They're not going all the time. No, they don't go in unless the card actually. I just noticed there's unicorn vomit on nice little unicorn vomit on that too. This is actually gonna be this is gonna look pretty decent when whenever she figures out how to actually configure the unicorn vomit to do what she wants. I'm so sure I do wonder if that case yeah. somewhere that came with it might have included a couple of adapters to just power the fans without a fan header. Yeah, that's maybe. Just... I'm surprised. I looked in the case, I couldn't see anything. But I was also Sometimes there's a little box of goodies. Oh, there is a box. Like there should have been a little box of screws and there other is. stuff. There is. It's in the. It's. I remember that. It's, it's in. This, in there. It's in here. It's tucked yeah, yeah, yeah. in the hard drive thing. Oh. Uh, Maybe might, I should turn things off. You might want to. You might want to shut it off. <laughs> All right, it's off. It's also unplugged again. Yeah, it's true. Before you mean before I reach my hand into the spinning fans. Yes, um, yes. Okay, here we go. So this, uh, I'm giving birth to a small amount of... Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Got it. Careful. There you go. Got it. Accessory box. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, great. Okay. What do we got? Let's see. In the undocumented, in the manual accessory box. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on, splitter. Splitter, splitter, splitter. Splitter adapter. Splitter, yeah. adapter, splitter adapter. I hope. Splitter adapter. Just a bunch of screws. Just, a bunch Just of screws. Stupid, stinky screws. Uh, and, and twist ties. Let's have a look. See if it says anything about this. Um, all right. Well, Fantex, come on. All right. I better. Uh, maybe there's a way of getting some kind of adapter for this thing. Oh, yeah, you could, you could just get a four pin like fan splitter, like, and it won't stop you from using the system. Just one of the fans won't be spinning. Oh, and right there's a the mode. Net. I see. So you can change the lighting controls using the mode setting. I Where is see. that? I don't know. Let's see. Where's the mode? Is there a mode button? No. H you sure that's not something that's uh, applies to the S model of the case ah, and not the uh, that is possible in the P might be four hundred A D model. Press and hold the mode <laughs> button. See what is that? Uh, Anno Domini or whatever? <laughs> yeah. What does that mean again? A D. Is it B C and A D? Is that a? Uh, is that how this works? <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah, I think that's. You can pay extra for that if you want a breathing mode. I don't yes. Unless, what are these? For the case, for the case that was made 400 years later. Yeah, exactly. That's why they. That's why they first came up with it because of the unicorn vomit. Um, oh, look at this. Okay, cable connection. Here, here you go, David. Here's this is an interesting. Uh, I've had my aunt harassing me. Since mid December. Really? Because she sent me a Christmas card. Yeah. And she wanted to make sure it got to me. Yeah. And you've seen, you've heard the things about the US Postal Service being oh, a little yeah. weird this year, right? Yep. My wife has literally just handed me the card. It is postmarked December 17th. Oh, man. We've had a few. <laughs> We've had a few really. It was sent to me from Florida. Uh, we're not that far away from Florida. Well, you saw how long it took them to figure out the boats. Uh, oh, God. Yes. Uh, okay, what was I doing here? Uh, oh, I oh, yeah, see. I was so going to look you up. A, uh... things along the bottom, which aren't actually buttons, are, I guess, places that you would cut the hole for the buttons if you were delivering someone a fancy case. Look, I think this will still... Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Well, it's Amazon. I can always send it back and go for the S. What's that? In oh, case. no, I mean, it's... Well... It's pretty, I mean, it's still uh, lit up. Think, honestly, I think it's going to be enough. And I'm sure that there's... I'll go check out Fantex. And maybe there's like a couple of adapters I can pick up. Well, no, you can get a splitters on Amazon. Like yeah, that's... splitters, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not so worried about the splitters. I'm more worried about the RGB. It would just be nice to be able to run the RGB through the motherboard. Because then she could sort of do some tweaking and customizing it. I don't know about you, but that's the kind of True. stuff I love. Um, I, I do wonder, like, what... Uh, I mean, maybe I need to study this unicorn vomit stuff a little more, because I'm baffled by that connector. Well, I think one of those why 12 it's volts is one of those 5 volts. No, not that. Oh. The, um, the other connector, the RGB... What did it say on it? The one, the one that's attached to the case that has the, the blocked-off pin? digital RGB. So D, I'm, I'm guessing DRGB. Oh, that's okay. That's why. Um, so in other words, some of it's, I'm guessing that some of it's going to be addressable and some of it's just on or off different colors, right? I'm guessing. Is that something like that? Yeah. So the other one I think is what? ARGB? Let me all get the There's board There's JRGB thing. and DRGB. Or JRGB. Why J? Just RGB? No, I don't know what the J is for in that one. Anyone know in the chat? Oh, it's just because those are... Oh, I see. Poor the, people. <laughs> no, they're all... It's J everything on that board. It's it's JLPT, JCOM, JAUD. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just JRGB. And it just right. happens to be analog. Damn it. So I can't uh, just snap off a pin conveniently no. and put it on there. No. Uh, it's RGB strip. Yeah, okay. So the RGB strips are 12 volts, right? Is that right? I think... Uh, the, is that there... Generally, they're... Um, 
I'm walking, I'm walking. Oh, I'm thank walking. you, Fracalope. And anybody else who's subscribed, by the way, thank you very much. And also, my God, Digraphin, thank you for the bits. And anyone else who said bits, because the reality is I have not been paying attention because I'd be too busy building Think Noodles' PC. We did it. Anyways, look, the point being, yeah. thank you very much. There's supposed to be some there's supposed to be some fancy controller thing. I'll have a look. J, Jumper. Thank you, Leo. It's J for Jumper. Look at this. See? we all. It's always about the learning. Um, all right, Jane came down to ask how I was doing, which means I should probably be going up and ordering sushi. And given What's that funny I've is... done four hours of this and sucked at least three of those hours out of your life, I should probably let you go. There, there I was, I was, I was technically doing, I was doing work while listening for for most of that. They're saying there should be a. I don't know that there should be. I, was I think that there talking, should be if you bought the fancy one. Uh, who's uh, but the, here's the thing, though. The, it might just be that you can uh, that you can just get that controller separately. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I'll I'll have a look and see if Fantex does that. No, I uh, I hear what you're saying, Harklight, but I think it's a different model that has that. I don't see. Look, I I could be wrong. I don't, but I don't. There's nowhere else for them to have put it, and there's nothing in the instructions about a controller, right? Other than. It mentions it, but with an asterisk, and it says it was the other model. Yeah, that's what I that's what I got from it too. Yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, I think we've got RGB fans, but we don't necessarily have the programmable ones. But that doesn't stop us from spending more money. Yikes! Um, <laughs> look, the reality is she's got a kick-ass little keyboard. This keyboard is beautiful. Yeah. I gotta say. It, I mean, if that cable is there, I have a feeling if you sent the appropriate signal, it would have some control over those things right i just you right. know in fact i yeah i mean there's probably you could probably just hook it but up that, to an arduino but that motherboard well that mother well maybe but Looks that motherboard cool. doesn't have a digital rgb controller output it has an analog one so right this motherboard this motherboard right correct yeah so i'll put an arduino in and then oh i'll put an arduino with a wi-fi adapter that she connects to her wi-fi at home and then I can randomly turn off or change the color of her computer while she's playing with it. What about that? Um, Arduino Let's see should here. work, but you're gonna have to do some work. Oh, Jonathan MLH, are you saying that I can't I can't do the work? I don't lean on that, it'll fall over. Um, yeah. I'm willing to do the work, Jonathan MLH. You know the next Actually, build, wait. Jonathan, is the CNC. That's the next that's gotta be my next build. Weren't you controlling a digital uh rgb led strip for your uh, stargate thing yeah that's it i mean it's like it's basically the same setup i kind of i might have broken it but it's not that's not the point though um point <laughs> you is, broke yeah, it i might have <laughs> i might have broken it a little uh yeah that's just well that's just three yeah this would probably work actually i put a i put a link in the chat oh thank you that um, might have some some merit yeah i think I think I'll unplug the motherboard and uh, and give this a go because I think an Arduino would totally do that. And it would do things that, that other people's computers couldn't do. Like be controlled by me from afar, freak her out at night while the computer comes on. Great. Actually, more likely to just freak out her family more than anything else because it's going to be in the living room. So, um, Alan, thank you so, so much. I should wrap this up because yeah. I, can, I can almost taste the sushi. Not yes, I smell the... Uh... Sure to be amazing dinner that my wife is currently preparing. See now, normally we've we've done the preparation all week. Just to be very fair, I have been cooking like I've been slaving away in the kitchen for hours. Uh, uh -huh, we had a beautiful uh -huh. risotto last night that we had for lunch. Amazing. Uh, but oh. do you like cooking? Alan, are you are you one of these cooking? People? I am not nearly as good as my wife. No, neither am I. But my wife is also busy sometimes, so I find that I I've I've sort of picked up the slack a bit on it, which is kind of I. Fun. I only know uh, pasta dishes, mac and cheese, and sous vide steak. Ooh, sous vide. Is that the one yes, you, have to put it in, you have to put it in the plastic and then heat it to a certain... Yep. Doesn't the plastic do... Like, isn't that weird? You, bra you braise it with a torch after. So you... Oh, interesting. So you, you can either uh, hot skillet braise it or just use a torch. And that's just to give you that nice little burnt outside. Yeah, because otherwise... Well, sous vide is so good at cooking it to the exact same temperature all the way through that, it, you know, if you take it out of the sous vide, it looks like the middle on the outside. Right. 
Which kind of looks gross. So, right. <laughs> so it's, I mean, it'll still taste good, but it won't be like caramelized at all. So um, you have to just, you have to just hit it with some heat on the outside. You oh, know. Jonathan MLH makes a really good point. Thank you, Jonathan. Put the Arduino inside the PC, connect it to a USB port, and the PC can then control its own LEDs. Yeah. That's perfect. But I will say, they do just make controllers for that. Oh, wait a second. Harklight says he's got a spare one. Oh, fantastic, oh, a spare... Harklight. If you got a spare one, that's fantastic. I still may try oh, out this Arduino thing anyways, though, because I, I like the idea There you that... go. One of the whole points of this of this thing is not for me to build a PC, because you know I'm good at that. Uh, it's it's to uh, it's for the bandits to get into this stuff. Like when I first excuse me when I first started this, the whole point was that like my son included, kids didn't know you could do this. Like these were black boxes that played games. You know what I mean? And when they broke, you threw them out and you got a new one. And I was like, Why are you nuts? You know. So so I started bringing in all these old computers then to pull apart, and then of course then they want to start building them as well. So um, so that was sort of the idea, you know. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, the hope is that it can get people. Look, I don't I don't think that building a PC is particularly like a life skill that we're all going to need forever or anything like that. But I do think that it gives you a certain kind of um, well. First off, there's a pride in the in the fact that you built it. Um, yeah, I mean, and also you have an innate understanding of when things go wrong. You go like, okay, when it says like when you don't see the AMD CPU show up in the in the in the post boot you know she's gonna know what that means which i think is right. valuable going forward so anyways that's the idea um uh does david realize his audio is really low i do because it's i'm, I'm so far away from the mic sorry i'm very far away from the microphone i got a second uh you need a compressor how's that is that better you like that is that better Would like to an npr i'm doing a little, a little asmr npr <laughs> Actually, that's brilliant. They should totally do ASMR NPR. Good evening. It already is. Well, it's true. That's basically NPR really is that already. It's true. <laughs> it's the first. It's the first ASMR. Yeah. It's, it's the, 30 it was, years ago. It's public ASMR radio. Um, <laughs> I need a boom guy. Yeah. Who could, um, with exactly a six foot boom so they can constantly be, you know, COVID safe the entire time. All right. And knocking over the monitor. I got to get out of here because I'm losing the thread. Not only am I losing the thread, I'm losing the will. I am getting hungry. And the more hungry I get, the more likely I am to, you know, go full McKay on people or knock something over and regret it. Um, Alan, once again, thank you very much. Do, do you do you want anyone to, should people bug you? Should people look at you on Twitter or anything? Or is there anything you should, you want to, you want to point them I don't anywhere? do a lot. Yeah. No? I mean, you know, go, go, uh, Read the reviews at PC Per. I yeah, go do the PC Per thing. Old, yeah, my old stomping ground. I'm, I'm let me put let me put the link back in. I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna yeah, get a little still... softer now because I'm moving away from the microphone. <laughs> yeah, those guys still review stuff. You know, and they do their best. Uh, all right, we got that. Uh, I'm gonna copy this again if I can. Oh my God, it's so far away. Okay, copy. I think. I think I'm copying and pasting the right thing. Hopefully this is not Baz's report card or something. If it is, don't read it. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm pasting. The report card. A look inside. Oh, great. Well, I copied Well, that was just title. that article I wrote. I copied the title. It's great. <laughs> that was the stuff we talked about at the beginning with the... Uh, yeah. How they do all their testing. Let me try this again. But while you're there, go check out everything because Alan was there for years offering his expertise for way too little. Uh, it's not copying that link. Why the... Oh, is it, why is that happening? Somewhere on that site, there's also an article of when I went through the, the chip fab when I was uh, trying to escape. Is that where you wafer. got the... Did you get it? Is that where you got the... Uh, didn't you the get wafer? Like, that's where you got the wafer from? The way I got well, I didn't get it directly from like I didn't walk out with it, which would have been really funny, frankly. It would have been. That's the sort of thing I would try to do. I, hey, if they would have let me, you I would know have. that um, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson tried to leave with his costume on Stargate. Uh, on Stargate. You know, you know what? Uh, uh, well, that's just going to get us off on a tangent. But I was like. It, of all the things for me to think to ask you, I was kind of curious, like how that scene went, and like because they seemed completely natural, like actors. 
Yeah, because that's them. It's all them. Uh, no, I get it. But that was the most natural I have seen of any walk on anything anywhere. I think both of them. You know are what I mean? Showmen. It just kind of it just kind of struck me like after watching that scene, knowing that oh, those those are just like regular science guys. Now I know Bill Nye has a bunch of like had a bunch of you know uh, TV series time at that point. Right. But Tyson wasn't on a lot of stuff at that point. I think he done and... an awful lot of um, he done an awful lot of like uh, like talks and and also he's he just, does talks, but he's, but like he's just a he's just kind of a they're they're both. They're both kind of showmen, you know what I mean? They're both. I'm gonna move my mic closer. Yeah. Um, I just would have. Well, but the thing was, I wasn't even getting that either. It was just like. Yeah. They were legit, just acting like regular oh. scientists would at like a convention. To you know be what I mean? Fair, like it was just. It. It know. was one of those shows that took a while to shoot that episode. Like there was a lot going on, so we had yeah. a lot of sort of downtime while they lit and set things up, and there were a lot of background performers and stuff. So there's a lot going on, and so. By the time we were shooting together, it was pretty like we were. I think, I think they felt pretty comfortable. I felt pretty comfortable. They'd watched me screw up many a line at that point, so they they weren't too worried <laughs> about it. Um, you know, Dave Foley was there too. So Dave is just, I mean, talk about a showman. That guy's just freaking hilarious. So they, I think yeah. the pressure was kind of off them. They never had to do. They never had to taste to say too much stuff in a long. Right. You right. Know, so so there, I I think it was sort of. Look, Gero is a freaking genius. Like Gero, first off, coming up with the idea of doing that. And then I think he's very good at writing to people's strengths. You know what I mean? Like I think McKay, yeah. you know, the McKay episodes that, that, that Gero wrote were fantastic because he just, he knew me really well. He knew, you know, what's going to, what's, what's, you know, the best way to play it. You know, just how much, just how, yeah. how much of the Hewlett you mm-hmm. want in the, in the episode. So. I, I really, it really was an enjoyable thing though, because you know that's when the when the you know when the series overlaps with reality, right? Yeah. When you get those overlaps and like, oh shit, I know those guys. Right? Well, Just like, oh, and that's the <laughs> like to me that's the brilliance of Stargate though was like is that it's set in the now. Whereas yeah. all these other science fictions, which is just a kind of a, is automatically a disconnect because you're like, oh, in a future, somewhere in the future, right. you know, right. Whereas right. this you is to, like, you know, suspend your disbelief yeah. and, and all that stuff. Yeah. This is like we would come in from a from a mission and go, hey, have you seen the latest Ted Lasso stuff? You know what I mean? Like we've, we've been watching that, right. you know, like it's and I think that was to me, that's that was always the appeal to me. That, that's why I love Doctor Who was because. You know, it's like, oh, they're battling aliens on Earth right now, even though he's a time lord. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're, yeah. they're, you know, these were concerns. Now, admittedly, when I was watching it, it was like the 1960s and everything looked futuristic. But, um, you know, uh, it's it was definitely, <laughs> that's what I, I loved about it was that it made, for some reason, it makes it, it makes it feel almost more real somehow if it relates more to the the, yeah. the world that you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not so far removed sci-fi, right? It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's actually going on. Oh, wait, yeah. I mean, that said, there's nothing that I love more than a really well thought out, created world. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, sure. So there's some brilliant, but I find those more on books than, well, I mean, I guess science. I mean, I suppose like Star Wars, but that's more like sci-fi fantasy than it is, you know, science fiction. Um, yeah. And also, I mean, we were talking about this the other day. I can't remember who I was talking about. I was talking about Star Trek. With Star Trek, there's so much lore now. There's so much written and so much um, attention paid to you know when things happened and what things happened and 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 logically working all this stuff out. I'd be terrified to write like a Star Trek or direct a Star Trek episode, like because they, they still screw it up. Yeah, that's it. Like yeah. we screwed it up all the time, and it wasn't until that we were in like HD that people realized that you know the the sets wobbled as we walked or that during the story, my favorite one, <laughs> my favorite, absolute favorite gaff in, 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 in Atlantis was during either the eye or the storm. When the storm yeah. actually hits, there's like a wide shot and the trees are going crazy and the wind's blowing and the trees are going crazy because you can see the grip standing there, shaking the tree. <laughs> and it's just way in the background. So for like when you, when we were standard definition, which most television you didn't was, notice. you wouldn't yeah. see it. But as soon as you go HD, it's like, no, there's a, there's a, I can see the man's butt crack as he's trying to shake the tree, you know, for take 50 until Hewlett, get your lines right. You know what I mean? So oh, that's yeah. great. Um, all right. As always, you've got me talking and it's never Sorry. hard. Yeah, we got to go. It's always easier to get me started than it is to get me stopped. So uh, everybody, thank you very, very much. Uh, Alan, especially. 
Um, go check him out on PC Perspectives. He's written some amazing stuff. And um, I'm not I'm not there anymore. He's not there now. No, now you have to go. Now you basically, if you got a problem with an SSD from Intel, he's the guy to talk to. Basically, right? uh, I guess. Uh, oh, and that's right. And Jonathan MLH guy, says, you know. and buy S buy Intel SDs. Nah, nah. I'm nah. shilling. I'm shilling for you. Okay, if you want to shell, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I try not to shell. Well, look, it's just you know, uh, you know. I guess we we appreciate that Intel isn't shutting you down from doing this stuff. I suppose so. Uh, Modified <laughs> says, "Thank you, Tech Banditry. Always love chilling. Have a great day and enjoy your meal, David. Thank you, Modified. Um, I don't know whether I'll stream the process of pulling it all apart for her. Hmm, and reboxing it. I guess that that I don't think that's going to be that exciting for people. But you know what? If I'm doing it tomorrow, I'll I'll. Uh, I'll give it a go. Although I think I have friends coming over tomorrow morning, so I might not. I might not. I might not be able to do that. We'll see. Uh, but I am doing. Te- I am doing tech talk tomorrow. Uh, at uh, was it one o'clock Eastern Standard Time with Barnacles again? He's always fun. Um, Alan, you've got to join us one day on that because it's it's just insane, random tech talk stuff. So you know what? I don't think I've caught his show ever, so I'll make it a point to catch. Oh, dude, check out tech. Yeah, tech talk's kind of fun. I mean, his Twitch stuff is a lot more raunchy. Um, you know, the British right. in me gets nervous sometimes, but, um, oh, oh boy, but the, uh, but the, um, the tech talk gets, you know, naughty enough at times that I, that I can, you know, I can blush and move on. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But he's uh-huh. great. He's fantastic. He used to work at Microsoft. He's got some wicked sort of perspectives on, on stuff. And Ox is just fantastic. He's just, I mean, again, building PCs all the time, works for, uh, Puget systems. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's great fun. All right. Um, cool, it's too man. bad that Think Noodles couldn't join us, but uh, I'll keep her posted and I'll make her watch the video and then she can she can critique it from there. And then we'll get to critique her. I'll get her to video in and um, I don't know, we'll just have a chat while she's building the PC. We can hear her screaming in the background, stuff like that. All right. Uh, All right. Thanks again, Alan. Yep. See you, David. Talk soon. It's so weird holding the mic like this. It's that, right? Okay. So, uh, so I guess I should say Oh, wait a second. Is ba- Baz isn't streaming, is he? No, he's not because he's having dinner with us. Okay. So uh, until we geek again, I will say a cheerio and huzzah. And then I'll hit the button and we'll stop. Um, thank you so much. I know this was not a terribly, you know, action-packed um, adventure, but it was really fun for me. And I think it's going to be really fun for um, for Think Noodles and potentially other um, other bandits going forward to just have a sense of how this, this stuff all comes together. So, um, uh, thank you. Wonder pop. Talk to you soon. Huzzah.